one. <laughs> I ma- this is I made this. <laughs> it's an original. You you have no musical taste. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Door Guys podcast. <laughs> there is no Davis, only Zool. <laughs> I'm Vinny. I'm Billy. I'm the Keymaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Daryl. I'm Andres. And today we have with us very special guest uh, from the old location of the Funny Bone, someone we've been trying to get on for quite a while. We have Dan McGahee. And I clearly did not get to choose my intro music. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that around here. No. <laughs> B- Billy specifically says that every time. Yeah, I don't do that. Thanks yeah. for having me, guys. I appreciate it. This is really cool. Thanks for being here, man. We're uh, excited to talk about the old days when the club was maybe a little bit wilder than it is yeah. nowadays. Yeah. I don't know. Well, well. I guess you guys haven't told me any stories yet. <laughs> that is we, true. We've, yeah. shared, we've shared a few so far, but yeah. we'll, we'll get into some more. So. But I, I kind of had the feeling that, that the vibe at the old club was more like the Wild West. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. It, it's a little more, I don't want to say corporate here, but. Corporate. No, no, yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is it. more corporate yeah. here. Yeah. I get it. I mean, that's why Colleen didn't ask me to come to this and stuff. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she knew who she was bringing back and who she was. And I just, I want to <laughs> apologize to all the listeners out there because I, to quote the great Jay Medicine Hat, use the F word like a comma. So <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. All right. If you're looking for a clean episode. Uh, this is not it. Find yeah. a different one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of those. Yeah. Fucking A right. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> the only one is uh, with Chris Covey. So yeah. you can go listen to that one. That's and that's your children. Ish. Well, like the John Paul one, we didn't. I don't think we swore too much. And I and, swear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, you can find a few other ones that aren't oh, terribly fuck. dirty, but uh, this one will will be. Yes. And it's brought to you by Liquid Death. Fuck That's yeah, right. There you go. Death. Murder your thirst. <laughs> yeah. Mango <laughs> chainsaw. <laughs> good. Yeah, the new flavors are good. I haven't tried them yet. I need to. Big fan uh, of the mango. They're, they're yeah, all the way mango. up on the stage. Into it. This line one's pretty good too. All I've ever had is just the. the Mountain water. I've the never had any the sparkling stuff, so I'm gonna steal some when I leave. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm not a fan of the yeah. regular sparkling one because I don't like carbonated water like yeah. that. But with the flavored ones, I definitely want to give them I a gotta try. try it. Yeah. I second that. seven cases. Yeah, Can't flavored water to me, uh, sparkling flavored water usually tastes like medicine, but the shit doesn't. Good so stuff. That, right yeah, it's good. Oh, nice. So. So it doesn't have that medicine aftertaste? No, <laughs> it does not. I, uh, usually when I go to my sister's house over in Iowa, they'll be like, you want water? And I always forget, and they just give me like a s- bubbly water, and I'm like, fuck. And I'll take like a sip, and I'll just set it somewhere in their house. <laughs> <laughs> Put it behind a picture frame. <laughs> they'll find that later. <laughs> Great. How did you get started at the Funny Bone? Um, I'm glad you asked that. <clears throat> Now, anyway, I just I had filled out an application, and I was working at a uh, another bar in town here, Muldoon's, and uh, didn't dig that vibe. But I had filled out. You remember that place, don't you? Yep. Um, filled out an application, and one day I was working down at uh, Jensen Tire, and I got Colleen called me and said, "Come on in for a, not even an interview." And we, I, <laughs> I, I started thinking, and I, yeah, I started thinking about this. You guys were talking to it was either Colleen or or Lewis. And basically, your interview was your first night. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and I'm like, son of a bitch. That's how it went. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I showed up, and, and uh, we were talking earlier. Um, I worked with Lewis and a, a lady named Tiffany Grimm, and I was a bartender first. Oh, so, so you didn't even start okay. with no, door No, I wasn't yeah. even door. No, I was a bartender first. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. I thought you were just a door guy at no, the old club. No, I was a bartender first, and then uh, uh, a couple of years in, I decided I just wanted to go be a door guy for some reason. I don't know why. I mean. It's easier. I didn't want to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty easy. We, we know. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, service bar, it's, it's crazy busy. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, uh, and okay, so here's the story I was going to tell about Lewis. I love you, Lewis, buddy. I, I got to give you a little dig here. Um, <laughs> so the first night I'm sitting there, and I mean, I'd been a bartender for a while, so it wasn't a, a big gig. I'd never worked service bar before. but So I'm doing it, and, and I'm busting my ass, and, and all of a sudden, Lewis just fucking disappears, and he's starting the show. 
And I mean, I don't know if anybody worked with Lewis when he was actually doing the intros, but uh-uh, he had uh-uh. the longest intro in the <laughs> We had him on the uh, podcast before, yep. and he told us uh, that he would walk around the room oh, with the man. mic. And you know, like, and, and God, God bless him. I mean, it, it's it, you're you're making a spectacle, and that's what you're supposed to do. And right. It's absolutely yes. Yeah. But yeah. So he would leave a bartender. I don't oh, want to say high and dry. So but you'd be high and dry. <laughs> you know, yeah. one, and at the very beginning of the show, when you're, you're making every slam. Slam. right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, Lewis, I, I still forgive, I forgive you, buddy. It's it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but no, and, and then uh, and I don't know exactly why I I went to door, but I just started dooring. And, and uh, so a buddy of mine got hired, Brian Shields, and I don't know how I, I knew Brian from uh, Miller North. Yeah. And uh, so I just like yeah, I like this dude, and we'll hang out, and we'll have a good time, and 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 we just kind of started dooring. So. So you knew of Brian before, but did you yeah. really know him? I didn't like, know him that well, but we became really good friends. Gotcha. You know? Yeah, I mean, we hung out all the time. So we haven't talked since both of us got married and kids and all. I mean, we talked a little bit, but not that much. Yeah. Um, and I know there's other issues going on. But <laughs> Get a little closer to that mic. <laughs> Sorry. I, know I, I just feel like I'm I'm down here. Oh, it's yeah. okay. Do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get it in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Don't, don't, You've don't never li- told anybody that before, have you? <laughs> <laughs> don't lick the knob. Just breathe on it. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let go of my ears. Um, anyway, I, I like it when so, Dan's uh, beard tickles my nuts. Yep. <laughs> Man. A rough crowd. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, Brian and I were just basically hanging out with a buddy of mine and and uh, watching good comedy and having a good time. You know, that was about it. That's awesome. So, how long yeah. did you actually work at? I mean, so how long did you bartend and I, then door, or do you even? Can I don't. You even distinguish? I don't remember. I can't, man. I mean, yeah. good lord, that's it's a blur. It really is. I'm sure. Um, and I, uh, Colleen and I were trying to think, or we were talking about it. And when I started, I think it was around ninety either. Late 95 or 96. But okay. I do know Victoria Jackson was my first comedian. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. you go. That's a good one. Yeah, and I just yeah. remember her walking back into the bar. And I don't know what this bar was like, but the old bar, I mean, like, there was water and shit everywhere and, and caps. And, and oh, she yeah. walked back and bare feet. I'm like, this is not the fucking place for you to walk in bare feet, lady. <laughs> <laughs> but she was an absolute sweetheart. She only came one time. So, but... <clears throat> um, and that bar was not, I mean, that bar was nowhere near the size of the one we have here, right? No, I mean, it was tiny. It was tiny, dude. Yeah. It was really, really small. But, uh, and I mean, our, our, well, our sound room's probably about the same size. Okay. But uh, there's, I'm sure there's a lot more going on in that sound room, the old sound room than that sound room there. I I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a window in yeah. ours. Did you have that window like that? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I think, no, I, I think, think th- you had there glass, was, didn't it? No, there, there was a window. No, there was a window and we had, uh, we had blinds over it. So ah. They could flip. That's what we need, guys. We need blinds. But you guys have like oh, a, yeah. a mixing <laughs> mixing board and all kinds of computer and shit. Jesus yeah. Christ, we had a, like yeah. a six disc CD changer and I think maybe a tape player, and that's about it. <laughs> it was funny, man. I mean, our our uh, our sound system was not good. So how'd you control the lights? Did you have like a light board like we have? Uh, n- <laughs> light board. Yeah, we had a switch. <laughs> <laughs> On and not off. even yeah, a dimmer there, switch. There was no. I mean, basic. Yeah, I think it had a dimmer. We had another a full on switch, and then we had the funny bone sign. You, yeah, you guys don't even have like a neon. We had a neon sign. You had uh-uh. to do this, and oh, that was like manually. A, yeah, so that. you that's how you had to do it. You had to, to to blink it when when you wanted to. Blow no it. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like you're a paintball gunner and. <laughs> so and I, I I keep well I guess we are on YouTube so people are seeing my dumb antics. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh yeah. And if you're not, go to YouTube and you can see his dumb antics. Yeah, see? that's right. <laughs> that's a perfect segue into the YouTube plug. <laughs> <laughs> um so I mean I, I yeah, things are different, that's for sure. This is this club is a little bigger and it's funny cuz we we I listened to the other podcasts and Colleen said they held like 260. And I mean, I remember shows we were three hundred plus. Really, we had people stacked on people. So we, Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the statute of limitations I mean, is up yeah, on right, that. right. <laughs> so I mean, for hat shows, man, it was there was fucking people everywhere. Hat shows. Um, you have I mean, people at just sitting in in the middle aisles well, with just yeah, a chair. We had yeah, we had, and then we had a couple of couple of seats up front that we would make tables. And, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then we were talking earlier about the left shoe thing that the door guys did. Yeah. I totally <laughs> forgot about that. God damn, that was so funny. And I mean, that, that was how you tried to meet girls, too. So. Did it work? 
Uh, well, I met my wife at, at Divots, the ne- bar next door. So, sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so ni- anyway, ninety six. We see we got off on a tangent there. That's uh, okay. These, that's the shit that we want to hear. Know, I we, know. We found that when they're not structured is when they're when we have more fun doing oh, it. Oh yeah, for and sure. they're more fun to listen to. So, yes. so, so don't nine, worry about that. Ninety six to uh, what? Oh four is when the old yeah club, we moved yeah, here in oh four. Oh four. Yep. And uh, we you know we we closed the club and and I was getting married that September so. And I don't know why. I really don't know why I didn't come back. I, I really don't. I'm not, I kind of went, no, I don't really need the money anymore. And it's, yeah. it was just kind of, uh, it was a big family, you know. And that family was changing, too. Yeah. And, you know. Because yeah. I think Colleen and Stacy were the only two that came yes. from the old club. Yeah. I think there was a bartender here there. And I know Brian, I too, he came for a little while in the beginning. Yeah. And I remember when he was here and he wasn't you know because we got hired on and he was a door guy and he was just kind of hanging out he was kind of half-assed doing stuff kind of stuff and I was like what the fuck is this guy doing <laughs> he's not doing anything it's like if I have to work with this guy a lot this is not going to work out well for one of us <laughs> you know what sucks is, I mean he was such a good dude I, I love Brian to death and, and I don't know what happened there but um he <laughs> I, I I don't know exactly what happened and oh uh were you here the, you were here the very first night then right Vinny oh yeah okay so do you remember I got I came and I trained Brian and I trained you guys to do a hat show yeah and Colleen paid me in tequila and I got all fucked up <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, holy shit <laughs> that happens that when you was, use tequila I mean, as currency oh, dude, yeah right I, oh, yeah. Was, I was drinking it was 1800 and I was hey watch this we'll make a shot and drop you know and I'm like oh <laughs> it was and I rode my motorcycle home. That was even worse. Oh shit! Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was the last time I ever rode, <laughs> drink, ever, because I got home and went, oh goddamn, that was bad. You got lucky. But uh, so yeah, that was the only show that I ever worked here. It was basically, the first hat show, and that was it. So I just I I don't know. I just didn't need need the cash anymore, and I didn't want to do it anymore. And I just got tired of drunk people because I was working at uh, DJ's dugout at the same time. I was a bartender okay. at DJ's dugout. Oh okay. And I think that's around the same time that it, some. One walked up to me at closing time. And went, I need a shot. I'm like, do you really need a fucking shot? Get me a fucking hammer. Get out of here. And I just, in my head, I went, I'm done. I'm done working yeah. bars no more. Yeah. You know? So Colleen didn't fight for me, obviously. <laughs> 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 now, I love Colleen, man. She's she's like my second mom. And I'm sure you guys think the same thing. So Absolutely. She's Definitely. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And she, I've heard her recently say there's a shelf life on things and they understand when people move on and all that. Yeah. And so that's why uh, they, I think that they don't <laughs> be yeah. like, hey, come on back. Yeah. You know? And I mean, obviously, you know, I'm still good friends with her. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, and you come out to shows every now and then, yeah. like you were, we were talking earlier, you came out to see Greg Warren's, yep. uh, you know, kids show. And yep. I brought yeah. my, my son actually did a joke yeah. on stage, which was fantastic. He killed. Yeah, it's one of those things here that, like, if you're here for, an, I mean, extended period of time, it's usually if you're not going to make it the first week, you're not going to make it here. But if you stay here for a couple of years, it just becomes a part of your life. Yeah, like, it, it, I don't think any of us here, despite, like, even Andres, he doesn't work here. We still bullshit with this, him. Like, this whole fucking thing's fake, places. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> And it's it's too, facade, if I'm talking it's too much, guys, just fucking talk over. Oh, no, no, no. You're no. all good, man. You're I here to talk. I won't <laughs> shut the fuck up. So. Good. We need the content. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, I mean, it's, and it's true. You're like, but like it, if yeah. a week, I mean, it, you know right away if they're, yeah. they're a square peg in a round hole. And, yeah. And if they don't fit in, I mean, honestly, are you nice to them? No, no, you don't great. even end up talking. Move to them. the fuck on. I mean, and you were talking about you know. the interview process too. For me, it was a little bit different because I knew Daisy, and it was a little bit easier for me to get in. But most people that we interview, it's hey, sit down, watch the show. If you enjoy it, if you walk around and bullshit with people, you're gonna do better here yeah. than if you just watch the show and then take off and not say anything to anybody. Yeah. It's and fucking Daisy, seriously, I know you're, you're <laughs> Daisy's brother, right? Yep. yep. Dude, I mean, like you couldn't have an, a second coming of Colleen more. Seriously, guys. I mean. Fucking Daisy's awesome. I love her to she's, death. She's, she's pretty cool. Fucking yeah. great. I love her. But, uh, oh, I gotta say it. Say it, John. Do it. Fucking say it. She's a cunt. 
<laughs> it's a uh, it's tradition, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. If, so uh, she has this thing where she so she's gonna she knows she's gonna get called a cunt at some point in the night, and so she started saying, oh. "Well, somebody around here call me it." And Sean jumps at the chance every <laughs> second. He's like, "Oh, let me." Come. He's like, he doesn't even wait. Sometimes That's like awesome. he walks in the door, "You're a cunt." <laughs> and then it's a smooth night. Though. Yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> you're exactly right. That's and then awesome, the man. night is smooth. But when That's if we do it, a customer is gonna. If we don't do it, a customer will do it. So exactly. We should probably just get now, it out of the way. Let me ask you guys. So Daisy and, and Colleen, when someone fucks with them, you guys are on them, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's awesome, isn't it? That's the only time, seriously, I ever got physical with a dude. Well, I shouldn't say that, but that I really got physical. Dude called Colleen. She was up at the old ticket booth up in front. Yeah, yeah. And she called me up for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, the guy was getting a little mouthy, but I, I just happened to be up there. And he dropped a cunt on her, and I bounced his fucking ass out the door jam and <laughs> right out the fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> and that, really, that's yeah. the only time I ever, I mean, I had to, like, you know, walk some people out. But, I mean, that's the only time. That, and there was a chick that, uh, she took something. I don't know if it was LSD or shrooms or what the fuck it was. But during a hat uh, induction, she oh. wigged the fuck out. <laughs> wigged. And I was she in the, sh- I mean, in the room or up on the stage? No, she's in the room. Oh, okay. Just, wah! And then. Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah. I mean, did Fuck the whole thing up. Oh, yeah. So, I, I mean, I'm trying to walk her out, and she's not having it at all. Am, am I good? Am we, Mike here? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And I picked her up, and she's wiggling, and as my hands are slipping, and she's got big, fake tits, and they're just about right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go, uh, nope, and I just bounced her ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's either that, and all of a sudden, I get the cops going, oh, yeah, you uh, groped a girl, and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and that was before Me Too and all that shit. Right, yeah, yeah. I didn't need that shit. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I didn't. I mean, you just had people get mouthy, and, and uh, there was a... Yeah. Some dude yeah. that got pissed Still off. Do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that hasn't changed. Yeah. Uh, we hate fun. That's, yeah, we're total we are fun haters. We, we, only, we right. only kick people out for laughing. Yeah, we don't like it when people laugh. We don't like it when they have fun. Uh, an earthquake show. There was a dude, predominantly black show, of course. Oh yeah. And uh, there was a guy, and, and back in the day, and you guys know this, they sat from front to back, um, as you called in. And there was a guy that, of course, probably called 11 minutes before the show started. So he's all the <laughs> fucking way in back. And we walk in. The guy goes, you're sitting me back here because I'm black. And I'm like, yeah, because you're blacker than the fucking guy sitting up at the front row. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so it's just funny. I mean, and people wear on you. I don't know. Vinny, I don't know how the fuck you've done it for 17, 18 years. 17 years. Seriously, coming man. up on 18. Fucking more power to you. I'm Jesus coming up Christ. on 15. 15. Are you really? Jesus. God yeah. damn. I didn't know you've been there that long. 2008. I'd have yeah. to choke a bitch. I'm out. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> yeah, but it helps though because you know now I'm just down to Thursdays, but yeah. you know only doing so much and cutting back, and that's kind of what helped. You know, and we did get a good nine month break with the you know that, pandemic. That, I guess that right. would help. Yeah, because I was I think if I remember Wednesdays, Friday, Sunday, and then Saturdays once in a while. Mm-hmm. So I did a lot, and then I worked another. I, bar- I bartended another gig at the same time, so I was you know working. Two jobs all the time. Oh, yeah. so, That's yeah. a long time to deal with drunk, drunk oh, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for real. Because yeah. people that, when they start here or when they get here and it's their only gig and they're working here every night, I tell them, I'm like, all right, that's cool. I understand this is your only gig, but you're going to get burned out in about a year, year yeah. and a half. Yeah. Yep. Dealing with drunk yep. people day in and day out, you yeah. know, Wednesday people through suck. Sunday. Yeah. They, we, we, all oh, do, yeah. we all suck. Yeah. We really yeah. Do. yeah. It's true. Yeah. And when you had alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> there was just a lady Friday mm-hmm. night that uh, Josh Blue was here, and he was outside getting ready to go up uh, for a show. And I walked by, and she had she had already left, but they pulled me outside, and she had come out and grabbed his arm and was like, my daughter loves you. Can I get a FaceTime? And he's like, a- after the show, you know, I'm getting ready to go up. And then she got pissy with him. And so he was all out of his mind a little bit, and uh, Jason Regan, the host, was too. And so I, I walked out after talking to him for a minute, and then she came back out to smoke a cigarette. And then I walked by, and Jason was, like, waving me out. I go out there, and she right when I walked out, she goes, I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, and Josh yeah. was like, yeah, you fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she ended up staying because she talked to Colleen and called Colleen an asshole and said that Josh was an asshole. And then the person she was with was just in here enjoying the show. So she ended up staying. She said she was going to leave, but she didn't. But that was an example of someone just being an asshole for no fucking yeah. reason yep. whatsoever. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think Jason said that uh – 
Colleen was like, oh, if you want, yeah, I'll go fire the com- comic for the night. And, and I'll, and I'll let you tell all 300 right. other people that right. he's not here now. And that's when uh, the lady called Colleen an asshole, I think. <laughs> She's really good at being a smart ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Can, I've taken tips from her. That's <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. And that fucking stoic face when she does it, it's so good. Uh-huh. Oh, I yeah. love it. She's one of the best, man. Yeah. She, you know, look you in the not eyes and politely tell you to go fuck yourself. Oh, and you walk away yeah. going, okay, I'll oh, go I'm fuck myself. <laughs> I'm going to go over here and do it. You'll thank her. Way. You'll yeah. thank her yeah. for it. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I think of this? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I gotta, I, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Favorite, favorite comedians? Oof. Uh, Louis Black. Okay. For sure. You have to come back to me. That's no, a, that's yeah. a loaded that's, question. No bullshit. <laughs> that first one off the top of your head. Off the top of your head. Off the top of my head. Living or dead? Does it matter? No, I'm cool with. with okay. I'm going Bill Burr. Right on. Off the top of my head. Okay. Yep. Uh. No. Oh. <laughs> top of your head. You've had time oh. to think about this, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, Shaky Green. The third person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, George Lopez. Right on. <laughs> George Carlin. <laughs> I like. Yeah. Uh, I had that fucking picture. I'll t- we'll come back to that. Go ahead. Okay. I'm, I'm all about it. <laughs> I'm going to go with ones that I've seen. I'll say Kyle Dunnigan. Ooh, I don't know who that is. He's good. Oh, yeah, that that is I'll Google his ass. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with uh, the live show that I've seen. Fuck. I'm going to have to go with Joey Diaz. Yeah. I've seen some of He's his a riot. Not a ton- yeah. yeah just, good. Yeah. Um, How about you? That I've seen, honestly, yeah. Mark fucking Gross. Really? Yeah. Dude, oh, I love yeah. Mark Gross, man. Has he ever been here? Here? He's been here a couple here? of times. That okay. was right before when he was starting to do the writing thing, yeah. and before he had moved, he had, I think he had moved out to California, but so he flew here like once or twice. Um, but it's been a long time. Okay. Yeah. Now, like huge major Lewis Black is. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's such a hard question for me because depending on the yeah. day, I, yeah. I, I have a different yeah. answer. I know. I agree too. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> fucking Bert Kreischer, man. That guy. Oh yeah. I, Colleen actually texted riot. me and said, you need to get here because he'll never be here again. And I'm so yep. happy we came because he was so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So He's good. a riot. Yeah. Oh, my God. And sorry. Uh, shit just pops in my head. <laughs> <laughs> like, <fucking> squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bob Saget. God damn. Yeah. I was listening to the deal about... Uh, you guys were talking about how big of a dick he was. Oh, yeah. That was, that was the man. Colleen and episode. And he fucking died. I know. Yeah. I'm like, and I yeah, texted this guy killed him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I texted Colleen, and she's like, I didn't hex him, I swear to God. I'm like, all right. But he, anyway. he did. We did swear him, uh, uh, you, you know, when it oh, happened, sure. and then after after he apologized, we were like, all right, yeah. We, I feel we, like we, I'm we being haunted him. by him, so I don't want to talk <laughs> about this. <laughs> did you, did you I, dude, burn I, the I, sage? Is. <laughs> and, and it's, it's funny, because Pauly Shore, the first time he came, he was still kind of riding the wheeze thing, yeah. and he was a fucking douchebag. Oh. <laughs> still, On the way back he then. Still he still kind of riding the wheeze thing. Of course. Okay. Yeah. He's still riding that shit. And well, he's still a douchebag. Exactly. Yeah. So he, he, came, he came back. And uh, he had a movie, The Weeze is Dead or some shit like that. And he actually oh, sc- yeah. he screened it at the Funny Bone. The old location. And he was such a humble dude. Really? The time. It's really? Like Hollywood kind of slapped him in the face and said, listen, Crazy. Wad. but he was a really nice guy. Yeah, I have a similar, because, like, the first time he came here, he was an asshole. Yeah. Like, just complained yes. about everything. Yeah. And then the next time he came, it, it was after you both guys of his parents had passed. He was much cooler. Yeah. Like, way easier to work with, way easier to be around. Yep. So, I I don't know. And Bobcat Goldthwait is one yeah. of the, oh, yeah. the best. He's just, awesome. just going to come to my head. So it's He's the yeah, best. Yeah, spit it and, out. And I, I just remember uh, Nikki Cox came with him one time. And she, like, I was in the sound room, and she walked up. She's like, hey, honey, how are you? I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Carrie. Where are you? <laughs> I love you, honey. <laughs> Kiss the kids for me. <laughs> but seriously, she was, like, one of the you know, smoking, smoking. Colleen was going through pictures yesterday, and she found that picture with Bobcat and yeah. with Nikki Cox. And I looked at that picture, and I was like, oh, fuck. Dude, she was, Man. oh, my God. She fucked her face up now. But, um, yeah, yeah. Yes. But, yeah. She did? Oh, bad. Who, who, who's talking to me? Who said that? Sean. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that she squirrel? fucked her face in <laughs> uh, Google that shit. Go ahead. You got your, I know you want to touch your phone. You're all <laughs> <laughs> Sean's quick to look shit up. Yeah. So you've watched the show. <laughs> you know, I, I, actually, I did. I wanted to say, so how many cameras are going to be on me? Because every camera adds 10 pounds. So <laughs> <laughs> we just do one. Just 900 one. pounds. 
It's one camera. But uh, no, I mean, as far as all the old comedians that kind of came through, like we talked about dead comedians, Diana Limo and and uh, Otto and George. I don't know you guys ever saw Otto and George. He, yeah, he was here tw- once or twice. Yeah. Once. It's, it gets worse, dude. Seriously. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> keep going. It gets worse. It's fucked up. And Jay Moore would have fucking douchebag. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, I, uh, but, yeah. <laughs> but sorry. Otto and Sorry. Otto George, he came here. They came here once, and I remember I was on vacation, and I had uh, come back into town uh, like his last night. I was like, I gotta go check him out. And so we come out here, and we're sitting here watching the show, and then there was a fucking power outage. <gasps> Somebody hit a no, transformer no. out like right on uh, Dodge no. Street, and so then the light goes down. The lights go down, or first there was a buzz in the sound. I look back in the sound booth. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing back there? And then. Then the, everything went dark, and uh, so then he tried to continue a stage, but ventriloquism doesn't really work so well in no. the dark. No. <laughs> and then so one of the He's servers just talking. One of the servers <laughs> took a candle and put it up on the stool where the puppet was sitting, and he goes, "Oh yeah, that's gonna work real fucking well. All they can see is me." <laughs> that's awesome. How long ago was this? <sighs> He's been dead for a while. A while, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 this was. I was gonna say like. Eight, seven, nine, somewhere around in there. I still Damn. yell. I mean, uh, uh, you know, I'll yell out, her pussy tastes like hot or smells like hot garbage. <laughs> and people look at me, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, sorry. <laughs> Got a pass. I, I mean, and seriously, guys, how much shit do you rip off from comedians in your daily talk? Oh, yeah, all the it's time. It's ridiculous. All the time. Yeah. And the two best, uh, Mark Gross, the two best bits were Mark Gross, the, or the three best bits, really, is uh, mar- <laughs> or buying a rental car is like marrying a hooker. Everyone's been inside her, and you got to ignore the cigarette burns. (laughs) 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 Fucking gross, man. I I mean, uh, like, I was on a bridge the other day, and a homeless guy walked up and said, hey, can you help my family out? So I threw him off the bridge. (laughs) 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 uh, Oh, my God. uh, Does my breath smell like tacos? I don't know. Do you put cat shit in your tacos? (laughs) (laughs) I I love that. That one 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 I've heard. And I use it all the time, and people are like, oh, you're so funny. I'm like, oh, yeah, I am. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got all this great material. Right. Yeah. <laughs> years and years of it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was talking with the feature act uh, last night. Uh, we just had Josh Blue here this weekend. And there's a new guy, uh, Gabe Beal. Uh, he's uh, travel. He lives out in Phoenix now. He's uh, from. He's originally from Africa. He went to University of Iowa. He's a pharmacist, and then he lives out in Phoenix now. And so he says he, he travels around the club or around the, the you know all over. And uh, he he asked me if I has ever got up there, and I was like, no. He's mm-hmm. like, oh, you should. He's like, if I can do it, you can do it. I was like, I, if I got up there, I would probably you know spouting off you know hundreds of people's routines. I said I could do almost all the local <laughs> just, comics, oh, yeah. majority of the feature up, acts, yeah. and <laughs> several of the headliners. I was like, who do you want to hear? I could right. fucking give you some of them. And I'm going to do them all, and if they say I ripped them off, fuck them. They don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> An hour of all plagiarized material. Right. Exactly. Right. I'll go on the plagiarism tour. <laughs> Is your <laughs> name Vinny Mencia? <laughs> uh, nice. That'll be my stage name. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you you guys, it is because there's the, obviously you know it's it's a new generation of comedians coming through here. Yeah. And just I mean, pay attention to who you're. There's a picture, and I don't know if it's in the green room anymore, of B.J. Novak. Mm-mm, not there. Okay, it Uh-oh. was there, and I'm trying to think who he's with, and I'm looking at Colleen, and I go, I took that fucking picture. <laughs> and she goes, yeah. I go, that's fucking B.J. Novak. I had nobody knew who the fuck he was. Yeah, right. You know? So just pay attention and and you know, because yeah. Christopher Titus, dude's, he's coming back here in July or whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, he blew up for a while, had his own show and all that stuff. And that dude's hilarious. He's really funny. And he, nice guy too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was. I mean, he was really cool. He's a little winded, but yes. Well, aren't we all? Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a and backhanded comment? What the fuck's going on there? <laughs> 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 Don't get me started. <laughs> so do you yeah. follow much comics? I mean, you said there's a lot of new up and coming and stuff like that. Do you keep in, you know, your eye on the scene? I mean, do you I mean no, I, obviously really. you're not out here as much as you would like to no, be, I'm sure. But no, unfortunately I just you know kids stupid yeah. kids well but with <laughs> youtube i mean fucking you can go to youtube yeah. and see anybody's entire fucking set you're right yeah, absolutely true. you know and uh you know like we talked kreischer and and i so as soon as i came and, and watched him and what's crazy is I, I watched a few minutes of it with my wife just to make sure she's cool with what we we're gonna see yeah 
and then I didn't want to watch any more of his Netflix special because I didn't want to ruin it. Right. You know, right. I figured that was his hour. See, new, nope. that fucker had All a whole new shit, hour, man. man. Always. Yeah. yeah. That's that good advice, is, people. Yeah. Listen, go watch some of the shit yeah. before yeah. you come see the comedy. Yeah. Yeah. We can't, That's we can't okay. preach it's that so enough. <laughs> right. well, yeah. So the Untamed Shrews are here, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. I, I love the Untamed Shrews. They, haven't, they, they kind of retired. They're done now, yeah, yeah. pretty much. I have one of their uh, pussy eating bibs. I yep, think I've too. got one of those, too. <laughs> I've got one of their new <laughs> the Shrew t-shirts. I actually, I, I got on stage, and I was the guy that you know uh, said, I'll, I'll have the soup. <laughs> 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 so and we were talking about being on stage. Anybody get uh, hypnotized? Yeah, I've been hypnotized a couple of times yeah. before I started doing sound for a hat. You're, okay, okay, I was going to say, no no fucking way, man. <laughs> no way. We had to get up. Uh, Brian and I and another guy, another door guy at the old club, Pat Savoy, we had golfed all day, and for some reason we went into the club, and we were short people going on stage, yeah. so Pat needed to pee up. So we all went up there. Oh, shit. And there was no motherfucking way I was letting him. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still be clucking like a chicken or some shit like that. Somebody <laughs> said fucking cookamonga or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, he would fuck with me till no end. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. But so when he, uh, how did he, he had DVDs, I'm sure, by the time he was doing it here, wasn't he? So when he first started, it was VHS tapes. Okay. Because I have a VHS tape of when I was hypnotized. I've, I've got one with the biggest pair of tits I've ever seen in my entire life, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> this chick and, and Colleen got really mad. She came up behind her husband and flopped him on his bald head. <laughs> 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 and I don't, did you ever see how Hat made copies of that? He had yeah, like, he had a huge he had, rack. He had these uh, thing of VCRs all screwed together, and the, they'd loop together. So he had to cut it, and just as she went like this, it cut. Ah. Except he walked up to, sh to Shields and I and went, "Here you go, boys." Here's a <laughs> I still have it somewhere. I don't know where it is. But Colleen said, "Don't ever fucking show that thing because that would be really bad for our liquor license." <laughs> so, yeah. but I mean, yeah, uh, Hat was a great dude. We're going off on a tangent again, but I'm yeah, gonna, no, this is where I'm, I'm, I'm changing the subject. I told so. you I want to hear I'm, some. I'm taking this fucking podcast over. Yeah, <laughs> it changes to the Dan McGahey yeah, podcast, right? Yes, um, it's such a good dude. I mean, I'm sure everybody worked with him, and, and the guy would give you the, the shirt off his back and oh, yeah. whatever you needed, and just a great, great guy. And when <clears throat> I, I still remember the day I found out he died, and I was sitting on my deck and I, I cried for a while. You know, he's oh, a yeah. good dude, really, really good dude. Um, had some demons, but fuck, man. Who doesn't? Don't we all? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. So, but That's why we're a bunch of misfits that work here. Fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you know, we, we just, uh, I, I, I love partying with the guy. I always had a lot of fun with him. And, and uh, I had fun with Cable Guy, too. I mean, Cable Guy didn't drink, really, but, but he would always, he'd always go out with us. And, and if you could get him to stop telling you fucking new material and try to, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I came, <laughs> I came, last time he was here, he came... No, it wasn't last time. Anyway, I came one of the times he, he came here just to do a guest set or whatever it was. Yeah. Just to say hi. And he pulled me in the green moon and fucking started bouncing jokes off me. I hadn't, <laughs> seen, <laughs> in like, I hadn't seen him in like 10 years. I'm like, Dan, come on, dude. Uh, let's talk. And, oh, hey, what do you think of this? And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> why did a chicken get a dick? And I'm like, okay. So, <laughs> talk about a dude that's taken poop, fart, and dick jokes and just made millions of dollars. Oh, yeah, him. dude. And good for him. Yeah. Fucking yeah. So it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. I was and honestly, Tyler, who's not here, I was hoping to meet, could be that guy. Yeah. Walsh. yeah. Oh, he yeah. Definitely. Really fucking could. Yeah. yeah. I remember I was here for Walsh's clash. Yeah. And like yeah. right after you got off stage, I met him over there and I was like, dude, you fucking keep going. Like, you need to keep doing this shit. That was fucking awesome. So does and he actually work here? Sorry, I didn't mean yeah. to stop. Uh, I didn't mean to stop. No. Every Sorry, once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay, is he employed here? His yes. name is still yes. on the schedule, okay. yeah. but right on. Uh, okay. it doesn't get filled that, very often. I never see that have on. dates. He'll pick up a shift <laughs> okay. if we need it. It's not like okay. he's actually actively on the schedule. I mean, he well, needs to take this. You know, the nights that we're he open, does, he's he usually out doing his thing. Doing his thing, so that's why he doesn't work that much. What does he do during the day? He works at some grain elevator. Grain elevator, yeah. Just his TikToks fucking kill me, man. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> Walsh is it's, awesome. It's, yeah, yeah, he needs to run with it. He he could fucking explode. He told yeah. me this week he was gifted boots, a mi a new microwave, and something for his rollerblades, all because of TikTok. So he's out there. Really? He's making he yeah, 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 it on top of his fridge. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing shit for him. <laughs> Thanks a lot, China. <laughs> <laughs> They're good for something. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it's yeah. Anyway, I, I 
the whatever it is, eight years or whatever it is I spent at the Funny Bone, I, I couldn't, I wouldn't want to replace it with anything else. And yeah. We were a family, and I'm sure you guys are a family too. Yeah. And, yeah. and you'll do anything for anybody that works. Well, I'm sure there's some pricks that work here, but. Yeah, we Sean always say there's like a couple <laughs> people you know, when invite to in Thanksgiving, you right. know, like your brother, you don't really want to be there, but right. yeah, <laughs> fuck my brother, <laughs> <laughs> who, who also works here as a <laughs> right. now, How come you didn't get Benny to come in here and make us some fucking food? What's going on? Here? <laughs> <laughs> fucking prima donna chefs, that's garbage. <laughs> it, is, because did, he did inventory last night, so he's not. He has no reason to come in. Today. Well, he would come in and want us to do a four-hour campaign. So, <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear uh, some more stories about Polly. What's your favorite story of just Polly? anything? It doesn't have to be him being a dick or. Just, that, honestly, dude, like when when someone was like that, I just fucking walked away from him. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah negative motherfucker. I'm, I'm yeah. Out, right. You know, yeah, I'm gonna go do my shit. Yep, I'm gonna work. You know, fuck. You know, I don't take trash out, but I'm gonna go take this nasty ass trash out. Let's go. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather fucking move trash than talk to you. So that's <laughs> right. That's how good of a person you are, sir. <laughs> But uh, kid from Kid and Play was a dick bag too. Oh really? <laughs> really? Oh fuck! <laughs> huh? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. The what? race card got played many times with that dude. Like on yeah. stage or like? Uh, no, just as often. as a person. Oh. Just a dick. Yeah. Huh. You know, I've had a couple comics here too, and it's just that shit always baffles me because. Yep. Uh, I've had a comic out here um, tell me, you know, like we were taking pictures and we were, I was like, you know, we usually do them in the lobby. Oh, the lights are too bright. Like, and I'm like, yeah, because I'm fucking working against you. Like, right. that's, what, <laughs> that's why I'm here is right. to be a dick and to like ruin your stuff, you yeah. know. And so it's always baffles me when their they're dicks are yeah. act like we're being assholes to them yep. when that's not what we're trying to do at and, all. And it's not know? the majority of the guys. No, not at all. No, no. Just, By a long shot. That's why I'm calling the dicks dicks. I'm yeah, right. Call them out. <laughs> That's our motto on yeah. the show. Yeah, tend to remember the more negative ones. <laughs> right. Yes. You know. yeah. The friendly but ones only stand out when you're talking about them. Like, oh yeah, and he was also a nice. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. So let's talk about Sean Ganan. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Speaking of dicks. Speaking of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> now I love Sean. It, he is the little brother I never fucking wanted. Or the little brother that I wanted to drown. Um, great dude, and I remember I remember when he moved to, to uh, Omaha from Cleveland. And uh, Colleen kind of said, hey, you know, take him under your wing. And so we, we became really good friends. Uh, great dude. Uh, I love <sighs> Sean, <laughs> Sean's, Sean's stand-up. It's, it's something. And I don't know. You guys have seen him quite a oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. D- was he still doing Duck Towards the Nub, shit like that? Yeah. Okay. Because I love that shit. The last couple of times, though, I will have to say the last couple of times he was actually here, I don't think he did duck towards the nub. No. Like he had some new stuff, and it, I was like, "It was all Who the fuck is this shit. guy?" <laughs> it, was. It, was all shit. it was all shit about um, Oriental women and shit. I'm like, yeah. Sean, come on, man. Anyway, the best <laughs> shit Sean does is his improv stuff. If he would just go up there and not have a set list and just talk to the crowd, he would fucking kill. Hmm. And I've told him that so many times. Not that he didn't isn't funny. I'm not saying that. Right. Right. It's just a different thing, you know. And I remember one time he went up with a set list written on his water bottle. And, it, and, his, and his water bottle, we were talking how it gets humid in the, in the club. Yeah, yeah. And his water bottle started sweating, and it fucking ran off on his hand. <laughs> 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 fucking moron. <laughs> I, love I love the guy to death. He's so good. We, we were texting before, and I to- showed you guys, he's got some stupid mustache now. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, great dude. I love him to death. And he was our house MC forever. I mean, I don't know if you guys have one now, but. No, we yeah, he kind of have several we locals yeah. that we've we'll run through. Yeah. We didn't really have anybody back then. And, we've got and a pretty strong local scene right now. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's good because nice. we yeah. didn't have. And there, there was two clubs in, in Omaha at that time for about 11, nine minutes or so. There was another <laughs> one. I went and saw Doug Stanhope there. Oh, wow. Oh, he yeah. just came yeah. here for the first time in a good while. Well, yeah. and what's funny is because that was kind of a fucked up deal, Colleen and, and Oh, yeah. Really yeah. yeah. We, when I first started here, I yeah. asked about him because I, I like Doug, or I like his comedy, and I asked if he was ever coming. That was the wrong question to ask. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking oil and water there, dude. Yes. Um, we went down uh, Pat Savoy and Alicia. I don't remember Alicia's name. 
for some reason, I think Colleen even bought us the tickets just to go see what he was doing. And for yeah. some fucking reason, we got front row. And I'm like, oh, uh. you got to be <laughs> <laughs> for real. And he just starts, he looks over at, at uh, Alicia and he goes, so what are these two guys? What are you with these two guys? She goes, I'm the meat in the middle. <laughs> and it, 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 it totally disarmed him. I've never seen, and he just went, Oh, and he moved on to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I mean, the dude was really funny, but he had something. Him and, uh, oh, who's the cat that died? Uh, long hair. Mitch. Mitch, Mitch Hedberg. 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 Yeah. Hedberg. And Hedberg was so funny. Uh, they had a beef with some other comedian that Colleen knew. I don't remember what the hell it was, but I, it, that was a long time ago. But Hedberg was so good. But uh, Stan Hope was good. Really, really good. But then that club wasn't open very long at all. Yeah. I don't remember Crackers or some shit like that. I don't remember what the fuck it was. I don't know. I don't remember. It seems like over it the years there's been a few <laughs> different ones, and they don't yeah. last long at no, all. They no, they don't. I mean, no. and, it's, and it's a tribute to Colleen and the staff that this place has been open as long as it has. And the fact that Mitch has money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that, I mean, that he wants to keep doing it, too. Yeah. That's a right. really cool yeah. thing. You know, I mean, and, you know, we, we've talked, you guys have talked before about how, Comedy just kind of ebbs and flows, and, mm-hmm. and and I don't know what it's doing now, but hopefully it's doing okay. You know, I think it's, it's the comedy it's boom kind of right now, yeah. starting to come back after yeah. the pandemic because yeah. you know we're starting to get guys that we you know wouldn't have before because they're looking to get out, but not necessarily do a, a theater or a, a, you know a, an arena that's got all those people in there, but they still want to get out and you know shake the little rust off yep. and you know, check things out at a smaller scale. Sure. And so we reap the benefits of that. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. Really good. For and, sure. and this is a great room. I mean, yeah, it's oh, yeah. not we, a bad seat in it. We had Russell Peters here. Uh, oh, yeah. Dude, and there, in the room, killer. I mean, there was like yeah. maybe 200 people, not even in, in this room. Out. And I was telling people in the back, you'll never see Russell Peters in a setting like this ever again. Yeah. And it was just, it was right after things were starting to come back from yeah. the pandemic and we opened up and I, we couldn't even be full capacity at yeah. that time anyway, but mm-hmm. people didn't come out to see him either. So it was, it was, uh, it was, it so was awesome, but it was very bizarre to see him in that. Cause he does theaters all over the he world, does arenas. you know? Yeah. Fucking yes. Arenas, yeah. not just theaters. So, I mean, it, those type of moments are awesome. You know, that uh, something I'll never forget, yep. you know, being here for that. So like I saw Ron White on a. New Year's Eve, Ron fucking White, yeah. in a two hundred and sixty seat, seat. You know, I mean, and then he, that's and then a, the, then crazy. the blue collar came and <laughs> it was over. right before yeah. he blew up. Yeah, and he was so fucking drunk. It was awesome. <laughs> 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 that dude, he fucking told a joke and then told the exact same fucking joke, <laughs> 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 and the crowd just went. I mean, it fucking dead silent, just like it is now. And then he rolled on the next one, and they started laughing again. And <laughs> Brian and I are just in the back. We're on the fucking floor laughing. <laughs> we, I mean, we want to see people fuck up. That's right. what we want to oh, see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Way. And did you guys fuck with Ganant? We were going to get back on Ganant. Did you fuck with Ganant when he was on stage? Not while he was on well, stage. Like, pre-stage. You but have to. Like, no, no. Like, his intro song and, and shit like that. We'd fuck with him. But. And what you got to do is when he gets, and hopefully this isn't too loud, when he gets, throws a joke out that bombs, just go, ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> and he'll fucking hear it and it rattles his ass. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I love fucking LaShawn on stage. It's so much fun. I mean, I would, he'd go up and after 30 seconds, I'd give him the light. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Just do one of these and, you know, you're a dick. <laughs> I love him. He's awesome. Hopefully, I'm sure he'll, does he listen to you? I'm sure he does. I don't know. I, I hope so. If, if he does, he gets a lot of pub on this podcast. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, been yeah, honest. Yeah. <laughs> we talk about him quite a bit. Yeah, yeah he's a good dude. He <laughs> fucking oh, yeah. should. Oh, yeah. And Craig Peters, goddamn. Oh, I love he's Craig, Craig too. He's a fun Craig. time. Yep. Especially uh, when you get Craig and Ganant in the same week. The first and time I met we, them was together. Really? Yeah. We used yeah. to yeah. get That's awesome. Craig, Gross, and Ganant at the same time. Oh, oh wow. Shit. And that was fucking awesome. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, fucking Craig, do you know how to serve the pickle? <coughs> oh, you'll serve the pickle. <laughs> 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 I love Craig. I'm, and I was in Cleveland for some Harley Davidson deal that I was doing. And uh, I'm walking through the airport and I look up and there's. Fucking Craig standing there, and he's got that like fucking count, like whatever the fuck, I mustache, yeah, yeah, shit going on. I go, what yeah. the fuck are you doing here? He goes, holy shit. So that was, I mean, I hadn't seen him in years, and was he riding the train? Uh, <laughs> 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 but, 
<laughs> I'm going to go to my notes and start talking to s- about some other people. <laughs> <laughs> serious, I grabbed this, and, and there's there's all kinds of names. My name's on it, too. Look at that. Is it really? Yeah. Why don't you explain that? a big fucking deal. What is that? What, what you, what so you this got is, there? This is the 10-year anniversary T-shirt. It's a tie-dye T-shirt that uh, I've had forever. It still fits. Liar. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Your kids? Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's got everybody there. I'm not sure exactly if it was that year, but everybody that had been there, like uh, Jamie Foxx is on here. I'm not sure why Jamie Foxx is on here. I'm sure he was there early. Yeah. But, uh, you know, like Bill Ingvall and, and Ron White, uh, Mary Ellen Hooper. Oh, my God, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Even Mitch's name on, is on here. Mitch. Wow. Hedberg or Kutash? Kutash. Oh. No, Hedberg had never... He was never at the funny at the funny bone. Mark Cordes, anybody know Mark Cordes? Yeah, no okay. Mark. Oh, Name sounds bitch. familiar. And I meant to, I meant to wear my uh, uh, Betty Ford clinic. Betty hat. Ford clinic. Yeah, and uh, god damn it, one of the best stories I ever had. I had one of the Betty Ford clinic hats on, and some drunk fuck in the second show, he's waiting to walk in. Dude, that hat's awesome, man. You want to sell it? I'm like, it ain't for sale, man. I got a hundred bucks. Here you go. <laughs> go on. Hey, Mark, I need a hat, dude. Send me a hat, would you? <laughs> <laughs> That's so, awesome. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys, but do they still sell, sell merch and shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. I didn't know if they. Yeah. Josh sold so, merch this last, you know, last night. Yeah, Shirts. Placards and, again. Yeah, he had okay. his placards. Nice. And he, he goes, I, I've got, after show, I got some uh, DVDs and CDs because I figured, why not sell a dying medium? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does great. he still sell the the vegetable shirt, the broccoli? He didn't have says, any oh. shirts this time. He had uh, handicap tags this time yeah. too. Yeah, the, yeah. those placards. The placards. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's I, I've never seen him. Really? I need to oh, he's he's Miss your chance. Yeah, he'll be back. He always comes back. Kids, Josh is man. great. I got stupid kids. Yeah. I know that. Doing shit. I mean, <laughs> you tried to get me at first. You tried to get me, and Jesus, I, w- I was doing something every yeah. goddamn night of the week. Yeah, I was like, hey, how about this night? Ah, no. no. And then, like, okay, when we set something up, and then, like, COVID hit your oh, work, dude. and then fucking we bounced off of that. And then, and then we tried to set something up, and I think we canceled on you. And then, like, you went yeah. back and forth for like three months. Yeah. I mean, it, it and it <clears> got crazy. I thought, honestly, I thought with my daughter not playing any sports, I thought I would be of shit like that but she does marching band and flags and drama and that's fucking worse <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> they gotta be at all the things Dude, it's she well she went to grand island she left yesterday at nine in the morning and she didn't get home to like 12 30 yeah damn Jeez. i have it's a freshman that's in debate and it's it takes up a lot what of the fuck? fucking really time. yeah oh dude it's crazy well, debate's insane yeah they, they have, have like long, they have all day things like that and yeah. Lincoln all the it's, time it's crazy yeah, it's crazy I can, i'm like okay well can you just play basketball <laughs> 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 that's a couple practices a week no, and I'm, one game and we're yeah. done i'm happy she does that she's yeah anyway that's Andy, awesome over here <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about my family. <laughs> so, do you have like one comedian you really don't, you just absolutely hated, like to be around? And like, oh, looks good. Like, the, there had to be like one that really just pissed you off. God, you're gonna get me beat up. Um, <laughs> I'm too old to fight now. I, you know. Just Polly that one time. Am I am I not in frame here, guys? I'm sorry. Oh uh, no, I kicked the camera because that's what I do. It's first day <laughs> shit. Davis has man. big ass feet. First day shit. I, I had mean, to stretch my legs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to, I mean, honestly, just like not really just one guy that I couldn't stand. Mm. I just you know, when you're a dick, then I just didn't want to be around you. I was just yeah. out, you know, and just didn't interact with you at all. So I got yeah, shields to cover my shifts. <laughs> <laughs> so what is what would you say is like your wildest like so we Ooh. have like the blind guy flipping the table and causing a scene like what's your biting craziest, a cop and yeah biting a cop what's your craziest yeah, people getting crazy. kicked out story honestly oh just the dude i bounced off that I mean, it wasn't crazy just i mean the chick i was carrying the dude i bounced off the door i mean there were so many uh, yeah. That, but nothing really sticks out. Nothing like okay. that. I mean, I listen to that story. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's, that's serious <laughs> stuff. Yeah, that was. I was involved in that 100. Yeah. percent Yeah, that was fucking crazy. I mean, that fucking made national headlines. Yeah, that's blind guy story. They did. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. It definitely did. At oh one well, point. you threw a big fit after that too. Oh. Yeah. yeah. See, I never heard anything back. I assumed I'd be getting called for something, but 
I was like, all right. And I just <laughs> fucking moved on to the next Fair week. Enough. Now, and exactly. I mean, now Colleen may know some story, but that's kind of what I mean. And I, you know, I mean, honestly, we drank a little bit back then. <laughs> were, you, <laughs> were you there for the night uh, with the big riot out front involving a few uh, football players? I don't know. That was before me. Okay. That was okay. before me. And I, fuck that. I'm <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> the drunk guy who got himself locked into the club were you there? For, uh, I you don't remember. I mean, that may have happened, but I, I, I might have been there. I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I remember hearing that story, but mm-hmm. honestly, man, I mean, I, it, yeah. you know, whatever. It's it been, happened. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's been a couple of brain cells killed since then. <laughs> <laughs> just a few. I'm sure just a few. Yeah, time mashes together here. Oh yeah, it, big it, time. It really does. Yeah, yeah, it, it really does. Especially in, and I don't know. God damn, I'm gonna stand up. Can I move this thing without? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah for you, sure. Yeah. All right. I told you earlier, it's not bolted to the fucking table. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, I, I lost my train of thought now. God, great guys, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we'll we'll find another tangent right to get on. Let's on. go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> So is there any any door guys? Because most of the guys that work here, you know, we're all pretty cool and stuff like that. But did you have any guys that I'm sure you did at some point where guys that were just like, you can't stand this guy. I don't know. You said, you know, if you can't hack it within a week or two. But was there ever any guys that you just you know, couldn't deal with? You know, there was a couple guys and I don't really remember names because they weren't there that long. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, I just fucking. Yeah. I'm not talking to you. I'm out. And yeah. that's, you know, if I don't make fun of you. Yeah. You know how that goes. Yeah, yeah. You know oh, yeah. I mean? That's how guys do it. Yep. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah. You're a really good dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is it about me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just made fun of you, so they were, you know, we're good. <laughs> we're boys. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't really remember. I mean, there were so many bartenders and servers and, and – uh, Door guys that kind of went through the door guys. Me, I mean, they they went for a while, but yeah, we had our we had our, our group for a while, um, but lots of people went through there, lots and lots. I'm sure the same as but we've been rocking the same staff for a yeah, while we've had now. the good really it's yeah the servers that trickle in and out a yeah. little bit more so, but like for our door staff, we've had I mean, shit. I've been here going on six years. 15, 15, 136. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Davis was here uh, before me. Like Daryl was here eight, eight, before six, me. Six, yeah. I started uh, when I was 16 or 17 as a food runner. Really? Yeah. Well, you look and like I'm, you're I'm 30 12. now. Oh, you got a beard. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> the beard is what keeps me not getting ID when I buy booze. <laughs> and this fucking, fucking guy doesn't work him. here. So. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was here for like two, two and a half, and then yeah, recently so. just... Uh, Left foot back in November, so I get it. Yeah, he yeah, was asked reason. to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Too Mexican-y. Selling. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican-y. <laughs> get a job at La Mesa, man. Oh, I would never. Is that letter? <laughs> never. Is that letter Kenny, but for Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> Mexican-y. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, fuck. So let's talk about current events. Anything happening in the world today? Well, I got a question uh, for you guys. Have Have you guys? Uh, Tagging off my question about the asshole door guys, have Peggy. you guys ever made anybody quit a job that you were working with? Not uh, the other coworkers. Have you made anybody quit? Not that I know of. Yes, I've made people cry, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that went hand in hand for me. Yeah, no, you made them cry and then quit. Uh, yeah, I made her cry and then she quit. Well, fuck it, it was stupid. We were working at Pepper Jacks. The girl were it was a second job for her, and she came in and like proclaimed she wasn't going to do anything that night because she was tired from her first job. <laughs> I was like, then fucking leave. Like nobody, <laughs> nobody fucking wants you here. If you're not going to fucking do anything, you don't even need this place. Just go. Yeah. And then she cried because I was mean to her, and then put in her two weeks. I feel like uh, in that situation, you fired. You're welcome. Her. Like the fucking yeah. It's like, you're welcome. Like you didn't need this shit. You're just yeah. wasting your time. Like, were you the manager? Go. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. Nope. That's awesome. That was a fast <laughs> note. Yeah, I love it. That reminds me, when I first got out of the military, I came back and I was managing a Zio's pizzeria. and Russian military, right? Yeah, Russian yeah. military. <laughs> I'm, I'm fighting neo-Nazis in <laughs> Ukraine. <laughs> the Ukraine is weak. Yeah. Yes. But anyways, so... They made their own ranch dressing. So, you know, you had the big packet, the big thing of buttermilk, the, the mayo, mayo yeah. and all that. And one of my waitresses was making the ranch and couldn't find a whisk. 
So she just proceeded to mix it with her arm. Oh, <laughs> oh what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Have you guys not seen La- National Lampoon's Vacation? That's oh. how you fucking make Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> arm and not hand. Was it like elbow? Oh, oh dude. My was, germs. She was elbow deep in a five-gallon tub Jeez. of, oh, bis- of like uh, buttermilk ranch. ranch. Oh, Did you lick that ranch off her arm when she was done? <laughs> she was kind of cute. <laughs> but no, I, I yelled at her. I made her cry. <laughs> <laughs> and then told her to make more ranch. Well, she, yeah. To be fair, she was sixteen. I was what twenty-seven. So, yeah, there there was no chance. No joke there. Sean's gonna punch me in the fucking head. <laughs> I'm gonna switch spots with somebody. <laughs> I'll wait until the camera's off, so there's no evidence. <laughs> I don't know. I've never made anyone quit. I don't think I'm a I'm a nice guy. So <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> how I roll. I just yeah. roll my eyes and fucking walk away. And, yeah. Yeah. It's not. That's not my department. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've made two people quit before. Oh, from here. One here. Okay. And one elsewhere. One I was working at uh, Grandmother Skillet on uh, 84th and L. Oh, I miss that place. Oh, that place was awesome. I love that place. And uh, it was a similar situation to kind of what you happened with you, Billy, but uh, this kid, and I mean, I think he's probably older than me, you know, maybe a couple years older than me, and he showed up late, and it was a Saturday night, and we were busy as shit, and and he comes in, and and he was was the son of one of the guys who was the head uh, uh, grill Grill guy, yeah, you because know, yeah. the line worked in, you know, kind of like ours does here. So the guy at the so end, he was royalty, <laughs> yeah, or he thought he thought he was. He had the Burger King, yeah, thing, oh. and so then he showed up, and then I was fucking berating. I was like, oh, it's about fucking time you showed up. It's like we could have used you because I was like doing his shit and my shit, and I just kept on him, on him, on him, and then finally he was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm out of here, and he just fucking walked <laughs> off and never came back. Ooh, fair enough, right on. And then the guy that I made quit from here. So, oh, again, another busy night, and uh, this, but this is a guy, so I don't know, I, I think I've trained most of you guys, and I always tell you guys, if you have an idea for something, and you want to change something up, that's cool, but let someone know. Don't just fucking start changing shit, because we do shit here for a reason. We're not completely against new ideas, but let someone know. So he's the guy that initially he went up, and he took the microphone, and he put it back behind the pole, or back on the back of the stage, and... I come out and I'm like, where the fuck is the microphone? And the comic goes up there and there's no microphone. And so then I go running down to the side of the stage because I didn't notice it after I did the intro and it was hidden. So I was like, I was like, hey, you know, just let somebody know before you change shit. So we're doing a busy show and this was, we were, we said paper tickets and we were writing, still writing the numbers and shit on them. Mm-hmm. And he was doing that thing where I was, somebody was running the board and I was taking the names and the tickets and shit like that. This was the second show. And he started going down the line. So I'd, I'd help these people, and then he'd go to the people behind them. And then so he was trying to do that thing where, and then I told him, I said, hey, don't do that. It's confusing up here because as soon as people hand him their ticket, then they're ready to start walking in. And they haven't, we haven't even thought about them where we're going to put them at. Mm-hmm. So he did that like three or four times, and I just blew up. And I was like, I said, listen, if you're not going to listen to me, then you can go away because all you're doing is causing problems up here, and you're making it rough for everybody. So just fucking stop it. If you're not going to listen to me, then get out of here. So yeah, I didn't like it when you yelled at me like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I apologize. <laughs> but so after, after that, then he like fucking walked away from me, and he didn't say shit to me, and he just all you know, butt hurt the rest of the night. And, and I didn't care. And so he goes into the schedule. This was the one. And he writes, uh, he, every shift that I was on, he crossed his name. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And so then and Colleen uh, talked to him. I don't know if she, I don't think, she, I don't think I ever got talked to about that, but I think she had mentioned something to, I heard her talking to him and maybe I was around. I don't know because I heard it. And she said, look, I don't need you guys to be friends. I don't need you guys to like each other. I just need you to get along well enough to be able to work together. And if you aren't going to be able to, if you can't do that, then, you know, it's not going to work out. And then he was gone. I'm out. Yep. Yep. Okay. So. Which guy was that? Uh, <laughs> you, can say, I, you can say his name. It's okay. I, yeah, he doesn't listen. Well, I don't. <laughs> if he finds out you're on, he he's going to say, fuck that guy. So you'll be yeah. Right. yeah. And, yeah, and you should have done your work, bud. Yeah, you were. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He was Asian. I think it, it was like Dion or Diego or is. 
It, no, it, no, no. Was it the Asian guy? Careful. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, no. I'm saying I don't remember his name okay. because he, he, he had a name. I think he was. I think he was Mexican. But he, Fucker. but I, whatever his name was, we had another guy that would purposely call him something completely different. <laughs> I, like if his name was Dion, he would call him Diego, and I was like, "That's not his name." He's like, "Yeah, I don't care." <laughs> Honestly, and it was Rick. I mean, <laughs> once you know, once there's an outsider that tries to get in and, and they don't fit, fuck, they're done, man. Yeah, they're, they're over. Because mm -hmm. I mean, you're my brother, and fuck that guy. Yep, know? yep, <laughs> that's yep. absolutely uh -huh. true. Uh -huh. We hired a guy that's from how gangs start. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to step on you, Billy. I apologize. <laughs> we are like a gang. <laughs> no, we hired a guy one time. Uh, he was from his family owns a uh, company around town, and. Uh, I don't know if we should even say that. Whatever. It's just good meats. And uh, we hired the, a kid from there. And he worked up here. And he was a pretty nice dude. But he was doing uh, front daytime ticket booth stuff. But he was also trying to be a door guy. And I think it was his second shift as a door guy. His family came up here. And his, his mom, who was... She seemed to be in like her seventies at that time. Like he was a accident or something because her, his mom and his brothers, she was on the patio handing little sacks of weed out to everybody. <laughs> and so that was his last night of work. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You guys should keep him around. <laughs> Free weed. It wasn't my decision. <laughs> <laughs> that, that decision went above us. Yeah, it, it did. Is that, is that her side business? Just good weed? That's yeah. yeah. <laughs> God bless Mammy. <laughs> what a sweet old lady. I don't, I don't think I knew that story. That's awesome. I mean, to like customers and stuff, not to the staff. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember. Oh, she's selling weed to the customers? Uh, I don't think selling it, just oh, handing it out. Just customers. being like Santa Claus oh. of weed. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. So, do you guys still, do you have people out on the balcony, like when between shows or... Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Not as much. We uh, started locking the side door that's out by the posters there uh, because people would sneak in through that door, oh. come through the patio on this side, and get into the showroom. Right on. So they can't really do that, and I think that's kind of curbed some of the foot traffic there. Okay. But there'll be people that'll go out, like, like between shows. Like, when we had tables and chairs, uh, you know, they'd go hang out there yep. after yep. When, on nice nights and shit like that. Okay. We had – we didn't have that, but we had kind of that we're – the old club, you'd walk in. In between shows, there was a uh, the service bar on the back side. There was a big room, and everybody would just kind of walk in there and wait. And <laughs> Shields and I are sitting there one night, and uh, I was bartending. So Brian was Brian was back there, and this very attractive lady came back, and she goes, "It's so busy, I can't get a drink." And I said, "Listen, here you go. Have a beer on me." You know. Yeah. God bless you. And she goes, "Well, my friend needs one too." And I kind of looked at her. She goes. How about I show you my tits for another beer? And I go, how about I charge you for that one? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to fall off the bar, man. That was just fucking funny. It's, it's, just, it's, it's funny how people try to get free shit and try to get, well, I mean, try to get in for oh, yeah. free. And, and yeah, it's. My favorite is when I already pick a table for somebody and then they tip me for it. And I'm like, perfect. Here you're going. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's beautiful. That. That's, and so do you, are you guys. Digital or how do you how do you do it? So <laughs> it's changed Ish. over the years. <laughs> Ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what we're doing is because we're only selling tables of twos and fours. Although oh, I don't know yeah. about Friday yeah. night, but Saturday night there's a lot of yeah that that started balls. changing. It, it's yeah, it's, yeah. Going, it's going back to, going back to uh, normal, yeah it's going yes, back so to normal here. Right? Select okay. I was, I was however many this. up to a certain amount. Okay. I think they're probably gonna. I don't know what they're gonna limit it to, but they used to limit it to like eight and sixteen uh, for party size, and then they just yeah. have to buy X amount more to get their whole party. I don't know. But so then, uh, so since we're having, I guess that's what, what we're doing right now. We'll see if it changes with this bit. But since we were doing twos and fours, uh, Colleen or Daisy would print off the list of the names and then we would just have them tell us their last name and then we'd cross it Check off. Okay. And, but yeah. then we have a scanner that we would then go back in and, and push those names yep. in. Gotcha. But right before that, we were all digital where it was on the phones uh, or oh. on the phones. It was a cute, well, okay. One step back was there was QR codes on your phone and then we would scan that, and that's how you would get in. 
Uh, and then before we went to all digital, then you could do it on your phone. Or we, we still had people in the ticket booth. They'd print off the ticket and it would have the QR code on there. Okay. Okay. And we'd scan that. So for corporate reasons, we're digital, but we still do everything on paper. Gotcha. Because yeah. that's how Colleen and us. And there was a, a little lull we're there with uh, that transition into using the scanner where we weren't also able to write down every table number for where we're yeah. sitting them. So right. I like I like having a list of names here yes. for us to do that because we have problem people here sometimes. And it's we nice need to be able to go back and be like, okay, at. we need to charge this person. They walked out. They were yep. sitting at this table. Right. We know exactly who you are and what your card number is. Cool. Yep. But when we're just scanning, we don't have that information yeah. because we didn't get anything to write anything on. And the app didn't allow for us to put that in there, even yeah. though I made that suggestion many times. But it, uh, we were a, really, was... really high tech. <laughs> we had like a carnival ticket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they'd, they'd come down the, the, uh, the hallway and then we had a clipboard on a wall with a little light above it. And their name would be there and their table would be there. Yeah, because I was going to say their yeah. tables were assigned before they got right. there. Well, normally, for the yeah. most if part. it was a light, if it was a light show, then not really. You gotcha. Know, you just seated from front to back, and <clears throat> but you know, getting tipped for tables. That yeah. Was, oh yeah. All four. Fucking puppet master. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be good at it, man. You can, you can make some money, right, Colleen? Anyway. <laughs> oh, I've always said, I'll, uh, for money, I'll put you wherever you want. Yep. Yep. And for the right amount of money, I'll move people. Oh, oh, I, oh yeah. Right. I've never gotten that amount of money, but I have. it will. We're taking <laughs> offers. We're taking offers. Yeah. <laughs> and we always had, I mean, we always had, Colleen always put a couple of tables in our pocket just so we could make some cash. And, yeah. And, you know, I mean, not so we could make some cash, but she knew we made money off of it, of right. course. But, yeah, yeah. You know. So, yeah. I mean, it, it was a great gig, man. I, I dig it. I'm sure you guys dig it, too. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Telling people to shut the fuck up, though. I don't. I just don't understand why people feel the need to talk during someone. Oh man, I, I don't, don't know what it, it is about it. Uh, coming to a comedy show that makes you think it's not a live performance, right. but it fucking right. is. Yeah, yeah. You're still in like a, it's not as big as a theater, but this is like a theater. Right, it is. Yeah. Shut the fuck up and listen right. to the guy telling the, the funnies. That. Assholes. <laughs> 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 that and the oh my god, their drinks are so expensive. I'm like, well, it's entertainment, you dumb yeah, fuck. Man. What do you expect? Yeah, right. It's a yeah. venue. Yeah. yeah, go to a basketball game or a football game. You're paying 18 bucks for a fucking beer. Yeah, I mean, a concert or yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, and it's spilling all over the goddamn place. Yeah, just yeah. be glad we don't have Ticketmaster fees with your fucking shit. Right? Yeah, no shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, they complain about our two dollar fees. Or whatever. Oh, I was like, have you bought a fucking Ticketmaster ticket lately? Right. Jesus, yeah. as Every much as a concert the ticket day. at this point. Yeah, sometimes it is. It's wild that people come here to have a good time, but all the st- like the door staff specifically are always against. Like they. Just look at us like we're against them. It's like, we're yeah. not fucking Those guys. Not, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. it's like we, gonna, in a whole weekend, we're going to have, th- what, four or five sold-out shows. Uh, one person might get kicked out out of all of those shows. Yeah. But everybody looks at us like, you don't want us to have fun. It's like, yeah. no, we want that no. one person to get the fuck out so the rest yep. of the people that weekend can have a great time. We want That's our goal. We want everyone to have fun, and if exactly. you're going to ruin that, then you got to go. Yeah, you're ruining other people's fun. Yeah. yeah. You fucking haters. <laughs> <laughs> we know well and i always say you know i i, I get paid to be an asshole yeah. so yeah yeah i yeah I, I i always hated having to shut people up i just yeah, it, 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 in my head i'm just like i shouldn't have to do this yeah yeah, yeah. you know Shh, i don't yeah now, i don't like having did to do Hat it either. talk to any did he teach you guys how to put people out in the crowd one, you mean once they started going once out? they started yeah. going out. Oh, yeah. I used to do what? it. How yeah. fuck, oh, yeah. It's fucking what? awesome. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> Seriously. And it's honestly so goddamn simple. Oh, yeah. It, it's basically just a nice, calm voice and count backwards from 10 to 1. Snap your fingers and... <laughs> They're yep. fucking smoked. Oh, shit. It was so fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, there'd be bet, times where, we, yeah. where, we'd, where we'd bring, you know, we he'd get everything all squared out there, and he was like, okay, and then we were like, hey, we got some out in the audience. He's like, okay, and then we'd turn the house lights up just a little bit, and there's yep. like one over here, one over here, one over there, one over yep. there, and there's all somebody standing there, and he's like, all right, uh, let's bring her up here. Uh, he's like, are they doing the shit? We're like, yeah. He's like, all right, well, uh, and all right, you put that one to sleep or wake this one up yep. and then we'll bring this one up there. And then he would kind of do that. And yeah, was, it was really so cool. Was I mean, he, fun gra- to wake he grabbed up. Brian and I and just kind of said, this is what you got to do. And, and it's, it's going to help me out a lot. And we'll get, cause if they're out in the audience and they're really out and they're, yep. they're done and, and you know, they'll be really good on stage. So yeah, that was, it was just so cool to watch them just 
it was weird <sighs> though. It wasn't like every show that that would happen. No, no, no. But there would be shows where you'd have like three, four people in the audience. Yep. Mm-hmm. Out. And yeah, it was nuts. And yeah. honestly, I mean, when I first started, I'm like, oh, hypnotism, bullshit, uh-huh. whatever. And then when I saw somebody out, and I'm like, oh, all right, well. Right on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is real. Giddy up. <laughs> I, I remember one time when w- I was working on the stage left, and Bob was on the other side, and uh-huh. Bob went under. <laughs> 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 no shit. No shit. It was funny, and Hat had to come down and wake him up and, and, <laughs> and get him right before he moved on with the show. That's funny. <laughs> We, we had that happen to a server one time where she had gotten out during the induction and then like, and then she woke up, she came out of it and then she went out and started serving drinks and doing stuff. And then she was come back in and she handed all the stuff off. And then like she said, like Hatwood said sleep. And then she's kind of slumped over while she was fucking standing there. Oh. And then, and then somebody come over and was like, Hey, you know, we woke her up, got her out there. And then, uh, and then it's at the end of the show, and she was dropping checks and stuff like that. And then he told him sleep again, and then she dropped down. And then, <laughs> and then we fucking were like, okay. And I think Colleen's like, Jay, you know, you got to help me with the service. So we brought her to the side of the stage and set her on a riser and had, you know, doing the wake up thing. He's like, only the person I'm talking, blah blah blah. He's like, honey, you got to wake up. You got to get your shit together. You got to get these checks dropped off and collect that money. And so then she fucking <laughs> come out of it and did that. And but then she's like a fucking meth addict. <laughs> 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 yeah, that uh, the, sh- the shit that used to happen during th- that show was always different, man. It, it was Every always time. different. I loved it. It was so cool. I mean, I, I honestly then like Lewis talked about the, the songs that he killed for me were Pat Benatar, yeah, fucking George Thorogood, yeah, and Kid Rock Cowboy, yeah. Seriously, I hear Cowboy and I just I get angry. <laughs> <laughs> the later Lady, years yeah. was uh, Justin Bieber. Justin okay. Bieber. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Uh, he did Jet for a while. Jet, yep. Uh, he did Aretha Franklin. Oh. Yes, yes. At least he mixed it up a little bit. Yeah. I love rock and roll. Seriously, oh, you Britney man. Spears. That's even that, that's even worse than Cowboy. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll fucking throw shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't hear that one either. I'm, I'm so right bad. there with you. Yeah, that song is fucking like, bad. Uh, didn't yeah. the lady throw her wig or something <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah to the, Aretha? <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, she was Aretha Franklin, and <laughs> yeah. she fucking grabbed her fucking hair and threw it out in the audience, That's and because really nice. she was under. And then she, she's the one that did the he did the McDonald's bit with her oh, too, because yeah. she was out so far. And there's someone I don't know, I think it's one of his daughters or someone had posted that video I've on seen Facebook. It. Yeah, that yeah. Is. And so that's the that chick. That's the one that whipped her wig okay. off. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, really, really good. So. Oh, man. Did you hang out with Hat? I mean, did, did you do things with him outside of the club? I mean, yeah, I went to Sturgis with him once. Um, uh, Pat's boy and I loaded up my bike in the back of Pat's truck at like ten o'clock at night mm-hmm. and drove to fucking Sturgis. <laughs> <laughs> so we, you know, we got in there at like six in the morning or whatever, uh-huh. and Hat's already up fucking polishing bikes. I mean, I'm sure he'd been. Hey man, what's going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, dude. <laughs> but just, uh, I mean, he dropped five grand on this house for the week for him, and it was Tracy. Uh-huh. Um, and he's just like fucking crash, guys. It's all good. We stayed for a few days and and party with him a little bit. And Pat and I kind of did our own thing because. Hopefully, Tracy doesn't. I don't think Tracy listens to your podcast. No, I'm sure she it. does not. Yeah. <laughs> She just fucking ruined that man, and yeah, uh, I we didn't really want to be around here. We wouldn't be around him, but we didn't want to be around her. Right, so, right, right. You know, uh, just a really good dude. Bad decisions, black and white. Bad, <laughs> bad decisions. But, um, so yeah, I mean, we'd hang out. Now when he'd come, he was living in Council Bluffs for a while too. Yep. Um, and I don't know if he was towards the end or not. I'm not. I don't. I think he. No, he moved. No, he was uh, in Arkansas. He was yeah, in Arkansas. Uh, Lawton, right? Is that Benton. Benton. I'm sorry, not Lawton. Um, yeah, because he was living in an apartment in Council Bluffs for a while. So. Mm-hmm. Um, when he was here, so we'd hang out once in a while, not all the time, but yeah, I mean, we'd we'd go drink at the Green Onion afterwards, and uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pour them stiff there. Yeah, they do. <laughs> it's actually called the Yum Yum. You know that, right? You know why? I did not know that. Where'd you go? Yum Yum. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny because we started going there when it was still like old, old, and I'm saying old because I'm that guy now, but. Um, old guys in there, you know, smoking cigars and drinking scotch in the corner, 
with little light on them, and then all of a sudden we found this place and. Fuck, a shot was a goddamn rocks glass. Well, yeah, oh, yeah dude. <laughs> I mean, Sunday nights, you'd get tore up on the floor up. Uh, yeah, they don't fuck around. Yeah, they're still oh, known as poor and poor yeah. men. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I tried to go there for a buddy of mine's uh, bachelor party, and this was not that long ago, six years ago. And, I mean, I'm like, oh, I can't drink this. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the last time I went there, I ordered a 7 and 7. And then next thing I remember, I was in my parents' basement asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't live there. That's because they poured Seagram's and then Seagram's. So yeah. Seagram's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that place is fucking deadly. We had, and it's funny because we had, that when we were down there, we had Club Patrick's, uh, Clancy's, yeah. then DJ's Dugout, mm-hmm. the Club Nico. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Onion, and there's one other bar, and I can't think of what it is now. But I mean, oh, Tools Karaoke. No, oh, that's <laughs> awesome. No, that's that's the first place I ever did karaoke, and the last place I ever did karaoke. Same, <laughs> same <laughs> first. <time. laughs> but I mean, you could just see the cops would just sit in 114th and Dodge back then, and just wait for those bars to close and just murder people. Just oh, kill them. sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. especially the Onion. The Onion was. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw up just thinking about it. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, there's a couple times. Uh, Hat and I, Hat, me and my wife went to ha- dinner with him and and his uh, uh, girlfriend, and then uh, we went to uh, Reverend Horton Heat concert oh, with him one right time on. down at Sokol. It was after a show here, and it was starting to snow a little bit. And he said, "Hey, like Vin, actually it, snow, or? like actual snow, yeah." Okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, "Hey, is it okay if I ride with you? Because I think I'm a little too uh, fucked up to drive all the way down there." I was like, "Yeah, no problem." So they hopped in the back of my car, and then we all drove down there. We got to the show like right before, like the, right as the the band before them was finishing up. And then uh, we went and we grabbed some shots of Jack. We bought some T-shirts, and then we. Fucking went and watched the show and had a great time. Right on. That's good. Yeah. Great dude. And I always laughed and I don't know if he did it here, but we would make shots for him like five and six because he'd want oh, yeah. to do that. But it actually wasn't Jack Daniels. It was iced tea. Yeah. I'm sure he did the same thing. And people were like, oh yeah. And I'm like, do you realize that if he did six fucking shots in a <laughs> row, the fucking guy would fall on his face <laughs> but in six minutes? But there were nights that oh, he yes. did do oh, shots. That's yes. also oh, true. Yes. Oh yeah. yes. yes. But not like Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yes. He oh, you know, yeah. There, there was oh, a couple he times ordered, where he was yeah. like, he's like, give me a full tray. Oh. Yeah. Because Sean would sit down there. Cause, so I, I'm sure the stage at the old club was bigger and more spread out. Yes. So, yes. you know, here, so what we have to do here is, and uh, you came to hat shows here, right? Yeah. One, yeah. So once. Only once? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So we would put big extensions on the sides of the stage yep. and we put chairs on them and chairs up there. So then we had to have somebody sitting right there to make sure nobody fell forward right if, on. if he kept that many people. And so Sean was usually one of those lucky people that got to I hang out down there. I understood why they put such a small stage in here. I did, it didn't make any sense to me. I think to get capacity. Right on. Right. You know, I mean, I don't really know. Same reason why they put it, you know, and that's another reason why they put the pole in the middle of the fucking stage. Because if they had if they had brought it out further, then they would be wasting that much more space. Right, more sp- okay, that makes sense. And, and honestly, the only time you really need a big stage is for a hat. I mean, right, that's about it. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, we haven't really needed it for much. Yeah. And any other fucking hack hypnotist that tried to steal his shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, we had that guy for oh, yeah, a little we, while. Yeah, we. <laughs> Vinny and I were talking about that. Yeah, when you guys stepped outside, we were. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't you guys a fan all of went out and fucking smoked. <laughs> 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 I sat here for 20 minutes, people. They're outside smoking, playing grab ass, <laughs> fucking around. Jealous. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we have a ritual before uh, every show. I, I, playing grab ass or smoking? Which one? Or both. both. Yes. Both. Yep. <laughs> right they go hand in hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, that guy was the only uh, hypnotist that I, that I got to work with here, and it was not fun because I was one of the guys that sat by the stage, and he was very careless about, like, all keeping of it, the people. Yeah, all of it, basically. Fucking all keeping of it. the people safe up there, keeping me safe, the whole thing. So, it, well, he didn't last here that long. Yeah, say what you want about Hat. I mean, the dude, he really cared about the product he put out. He really, oh yeah, really did. You know, I mean, he he. I don't mean to harp on it, but he had other shit going on in his life. But he was all about his show. That's for sure. Yeah, and he tried to come up with new shit, and he was always worried about people. Um getting bored i'm like dude it's even back then yeah it's not i mean fuck man it's it's 
wild. People yeah. always I've say. I've only heard the most amazing things about that. I've never got to work with him. I never got to see one of his shows. I've only heard about how yeah. fucking incredible he was. He was such a great guy. Yeah. And I mean, don't get me wrong. He was full of shit most of the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was a big bullshitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, but the he whole. Told uh, some stories for The sure. whole 127 mile an hour. I don't know if you told that. Uh, he got a ticket for doing like 117. Yeah. That's fucking real. Really? Because I saw the ticket. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, I fucking saw the ticket. And I went, oh, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, he's just such a genuine dude. And, and just, he really, really cared about what people thought of him and his mm-hmm. show. And he yeah. didn't want him to get bored. And, and I, I'd always tell him, dude, it, it, everybody always says it's never the same thing. Yeah. It may be the same joke, but it's never the same thing. I mean, he got fucking chicks pulling wigs off and shit. Yeah. I mean, nobody else yeah. does that. He know? was always worried about, the, about you know, like if we had a slightly lighter night or something like that. He's like, oh, fuck, I guess I'm done here. I'm like, Jay. I was like, no, it's just, uh, you know, something is going on. And right. I said, somebody turns 21 every yep. single day. Yep. And they've got friends and family that have come out to see you. And they're going to be brought out by, the, by those friends and family to see your show Absolutely. every fucking day. Yep. And it's July. You know, there's other shit going on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, nobody wants to be inside in July. Yeah, we get four months of nice weather. Right. So, yeah, it's just a phenomenal. I'm, I'm bummed out you didn't get to work with him, man. Yeah. He was just a really good fucking yeah. dude. I mean, it's fun listening to the stories. Yeah. Yeah. He wouldn't have liked you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, Sean. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> Has Colleen told you guys about the water weenie with Ron White? No. Oh, no. Do tell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's too late. It's too late. Yeah, you open that can. So kind of the same deal that, that uh, she was telling, or maybe it was Lewis was talking about going to the condo because he was late. Yeah. And she walks in, and he's pretty much naked with a water. You guys know what a water weenie is, right? The deal that you sit there and go like this, oh, and it yeah, just yeah. keeps going up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. With a water weenie over his dick. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, hey, call. you think I should have this lanced? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell too many stories like that because I don't think I'm going to get invited back, not by you guys, but by the chick that fucking has the super-duper key to the door. <laughs> but, yeah, there's, I mean, I've got a lot of shit, and I'm not going to, we already well, talked about it. I don't believe gonna. she listens, so. Oh, <laughs> I think she'll listen to this There's one. a select few that she listens. Yeah, she she told me to oh, edit. Uh, when I walked in, she said, edit, edit. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I think we should have uh, you on when we have Colleen back. <laughs> yeah, I would sit with, I would sit with just Colleen. Just don't tell her. And I want to do it. <laughs> It'll be a surprise for you. Right, I'll just walk in. And she'll Hopefully, like, oh, she doesn't make it this far. Get, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but I, once again, I want, I want when Ganant gets his ass out of California. I want he gets here. I want to come up with Sean. Oh, oh absolutely. Okay. Yeah. The, the 49er. Here's the story of the 49er. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, do you remember Jangle Pop? Okay. So Jangle Pop was uh, Stacy Hart. Remember Stacy? Oh right? yeah. Oh yeah. I love Stacy. Yeah. Rob Reuter. You remember Rob, her yep, ex-boyfriend? Yep, 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 yep. He was in a band called Jangle Pop. Okay. The last time, the last show they were playing, they were breaking up. It was at the 49er. Okay. Okay. And I went down there with my buddy, Mike McKenzie, and Gnant somehow got down there. I don't know what. And he fucking <laughs> drank everything. I don't know. He just <laughs> had the fucking, the night that I'm going to get fucking hammered. Well, oh my God. He's going to kill me. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll find out if he does listen. I was driving a, an, an S10 at that time with an extended cab, which in, and this is in the 90s, so the extended cab was seven inches. Right. Yep. So he got all fucked up and didn't have a ride. I had to put him in the back of my, the bed of my pickup truck. <laughs> 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 and he, he lived at the condo. Yeah. So 114th and, or 120th and Dodge or whatever uh-huh. it was. Sure. 49th and Dodge to 120th and Dodge. And I had a, there was a bunch of glass in the back of my truck for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> broken, broken glass? Broken fucking <laughs> <pepper> glass. <laughs> <laughs> so we get, him, we get him home, and he's all hammered. So we sit there for a little bit, and he, I mean, he, we got him laying on the couch, and we put a little bucket by his, I'm not going to sit there with him. I mean, he's a grown-ass fucking man. Right. I'm not going to sit there with him. He was not going to die. I knew that. So... I basically put a little bowl underneath him, so if he puked, it was going to go in the bowl. But then, I don't know whose idea it was. I'm going to blame it on Mackenzie. <laughs> we decided to write on him. 
<laughs> I was stone sober. I don't know because I was driving. So, and I mean, we wrote shit, jackass, and stuff down his arm, and all kinds of shit. I think I've seen that picture. Yes. So that's what that's from. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen this picture too. Yeah. 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 So he had to take Jim Brew to the fucking zoo the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, he didn't wake up early and take a shower and get all the, you know. Of course he not. fucking woke up, and he's driving Brewer, and you can see the S or whatever on his fucking wrist, and Jim's like, the fuck's going on with your fucking wrist, man? <laughs> so, yes, that was, that was one of the stories. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Now I know where that story's from. Yeah. Because in that picture, he's all dejected and head down. And I was like, what the hell happened here? I need that picture. Oh, and the George Carlin picture. So the George Carlin that picture you have out there where he's got the, he's looking at his fingernails and it says, fuck hope. On yeah. It. Oh, yeah, yeah. I stole that. From where? Here. Oh. I had it. And then when Carlin died, you guys did a little memorial to him out there. Yeah. I get a text from Colleen, give me my fucking picture back. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to bring it back. I didn't get it back from her. He was uh, <laughs> the first comedy show I got to see. Really? Yeah, wow. I saw him on his last tour before he passed. Dude, Carlin uh, was so good. He was good. at it was oh, no, 2007 or 2008 in, uh, at the Orpheum. He was wow. so good. He was he phenomenal. Was so good. That's yeah. awesome. I think I've, I've never, talked about it here before. Yeah, I yeah. remember. It. Yeah. He won't, but yeah. I mean. Yeah, he was so good. <sighs> And he just, <laughs> I, I just, I love that he pointed out hypocrisy on the left and the right. And oh, everywhere. yeah. I just, I love the guy. He was so good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's awesome. Any more questions for me, gentlemen? Uh, uh, so when you, when you poop, do you pee freely? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't everyone? <laughs> Most, mostly men. <laughs> <laughs> Something to do with the prostate, <laughs> my understanding. Is one more of these liquid deaths anywhere? Uh, yeah, I can go grab it up there. I had to get another. Plug. No, that one's uh, that one's already I'm open. I think that has oh, that Josh, Josh Blue, Blue. Oh, backwash okay. in it. Yeah, probably don't grab that. <laughs> I'm one. okay. We should, we with should that. NFT it. <laughs> 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 I'll grab you one. No, I don't want to make you leave, uh, dude. It's okay. I, I got to use the restroom anyways. Okay. I have an excuse. Are you gonna poop? Oh, he can't hear me now. <laughs> 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 so there's another story we need to ask you about uh, at the old club, right? At the and we've kind of we talked about it earlier before we started recording, but oh yeah, this is what I tape. was this is what I was told. And to ask about uh, oh, we uh, were told to ask about uh, there was apparently some spray painting on the old brick walls I, and some uh, strip poker going on between just the door guys. Well. <laughs> okay the spray painting i don't remember who i honestly swear to god the last night the club was open down there i honestly have no idea who decided to spray paint on the walls and i never i just found out of course that the guy who bought the place was fucking pissed and yeah whatever as he i did yeah i didn't know oh, i've been I hearing about that for like yeah. two weeks I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was gonna keep that fucking shitty brick up i mean come on i guarantee he because I mean, it was all on that brick. Yeah. Just whatever. Fuck that guy. Was, <laughs> was it Hat's idea? Because Hat, Hat closed the club, right? I believe. Uh, I mean, he was the last act there. He had, I think so. Yeah. Shit's blurry, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I mean, we did, we spray painted Hat because, I mean, he's a fucking mainstay, man. I mean, yeah. the dude held the club down, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know who started spray painting. It's not me because I don't have that good of a penmanship or even with a fucking spray can. <laughs> Definitely wasn't me. I'm, I was a good boy I, with Colleen, so <laughs> I would never do that, Colleen. But uh, the strip poker thing was, I mean, we always tried to make Colleen laugh. Brian and I decided for some reason, I have no idea, and I don't know when we did it, but we just got up on stage and put a table up there and a couple chairs, and we just stripped down to our boxers and sat there and drank beer and played cards until she walked out and Laughed her fucking ass off. <laughs> 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 we were just fucking around. You know? And that's, I mean, honestly... A lot of I didn't have clothes on a lot when I worked at the Funny Bone. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Was it like not required? No. I mean, <laughs> you guys were talking about how you have to have black pants on, blah 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 blah. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. Colleen was lucky if I had my goddamn shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> but we no, just I mean, had a meeting yesterday <laughs> that, where they told everybody black shirt, black shoes, Thanks, black bro, pants. Appreciate it. See, way more corporate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, basically, I was just wearing. I and I tried to find. I don't think I have it anymore. I ha I actually had a collared polo that said "Funny Bone" on it. So yeah. that was about as you know, dressed up as I got. But I, I mean, I'd wear shorts and, and tennis shoes. And, oh and, fuck, that'd be nice. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a great place to work, man. 
know, I don't know what it's like now. I'm sure it is. Oh, it's still, oh, it's it's still a great place. place. Yeah. I wouldn't have been here for I'm 17 just, years. Right. fucking around, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, I just, you know, all those pictures that I came in, I was wearing a hat and, you know, I always had, we just had funny bone t-shirts and, or I, they had that one polo. And honestly, I think they gave me that polo and it, somebody had already worn it. I think it was used already. I had no <laughs> my <laughs> first one from here was used. Yeah. <laughs> think, we've had that happen before. I told my wife that story and she's like, oh, that's fucking gross. I'm like, well, I care. It's a shirt. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the guys that don't last. They they, they yeah. show up. They're here for uh, two Ooh. days or a week, and right. then they're like, "All right, yep. give us the polo back." And yeah. then and that's probably what it sits on the shelf till we get another new that's guy. That's probably what it was. Yep. I have no idea, but I, I, <laughs> it was my polo. And I, I don't know where it is anymore. But I'm you want a new one? Does <laughs> 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 did she still do t-shirts and shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got hoodies now too. Whoa. Billy's wearing one. Yeah. Oh, right on. Ooh, uh, yeah. Right mine's yeah. over there on the kitchen. Got one of them. Got it on the back too. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. It, do you have any that say liquid death on them? Not no. yet. No, okay. so, no. Not yet. We're trying to get sponsored. Someone should, should, <laughs> should do on. that. Oh, we're really <laughs> whoring out for them. Too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still need I'm, to really I'm trying to do those. it as much as I can. <laughs> I don't even drink sparkling flavored water. <laughs> <laughs> so did Todd and Tyler come out here a lot? Yeah, Quite actually, a bit. Tyler yeah. and uh, his wife and his son and his son's friend were actually out here last night. Okay, right on. For a show. Yeah, they're good guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Did they come out to the club much back then? Because yeah. I don't think they were quite as married as they uh, are now. No, they, they would come out. Um, Todd would bum smokes from me. <laughs> and then, yeah. They, they, they would come out. They did a, uh, a morning. They actually did a show one time from the club, and it was early. And Love Sack brought these big fucking Love Sacks out. I don't know if you guys know what Love Sack is. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And co- they, they never came back and got them. Oh, really? So I had this black and really? white tiger stripe fucking love sack in my basement forever. And finally, one day, I'm like, get rid of this fucking thing. I don't <laughs> <laughs> they were comfortable as hell. I just, I couldn't, I was getting too old and fat. I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> I've got two of them. Do you? Yeah. They're comfortable. They're really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking believe I felt that. <laughs> I'll give you one. He's one. sneaky. He's <laughs> real fucking sneaky. Dude, dude doesn't say anything for seven minutes. He's nuts. <laughs> That's Sean in a nutshell. <laughs> Pun intended. Pun intended. <laughs> but yeah, we they did a remote, and then uh, I think they just did one remote there. I mean, they were they were integral in the club. I mean, they they really were. They oh were yeah, hand in hand. So. And I, and I don't know if you, Jesus Christ, did they talk, did Hat talk about you on the radio? Every now and then. Oh, fuck. I'd, and I'd get phone calls. Oh, you talked to you about Todd Tyler. <laughs> I go, okay, yeah. They said my name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a big deal to people because, I guess, you know, yeah. they, they're, they're not in the, the club life. They're and not in all this stuff. You know they're not what? in the radio. And they that's, that, that you're right. I mean, after a while, I just, when somebody would walk in, like, you know, uh, Bobcat, you know, who I'd seen forever. Please cat me bullshit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're used to talking to people like that. You just they're just a dude. Right. You know? Right. Yes. So But people yeah. show up and watch to watch them and they're all, Oh my god, it's right. you. Yeah. Just yeah. yeah. like he's a fucking dude, man. Yeah. It's and he poops. Yeah. But not to them because they yeah. haven't been spending I all this it. time around. I him. Get yeah. It. It's yeah, and yeah. I guess I part of the jaded factor for yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And we, we talk about that all the time, how we get jaded to comics and jaded to, you know, big names Comedy like that. I mean, in general. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, every now and then. You become you know, a snob, really. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we all are agree, would agree with that. Yeah. For sure. We just know better than the rest of the people. <laughs> 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 Fucking smarter yeah. than you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why so we're shut here up and, and laugh not. at the funnies. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love that, the funnies. <laughs> 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 uh, it was one uh, I forget what year it was It wasn't too long ago Colleen was up at Todd and Tyler And they had asked her Where the Super Bowl party was And she goes It's at Davis's house And I was not having A Super Bowl party And I had people calling me Being like You're having a party And I'm not fucking fine They're like No Don't come to my fucking house Only Colleen would do that <laughs> And you know it. She fucking was smirking Oh, oh yeah. like, God damn it yeah. And then she went Hey watch this fucking shit <laughs> 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 That's beautiful. <laughs> That's awesome. Who do you guys have coming out soon? I haven't checked the uh, schedule. Uh, Nick lately. Griffin is here next week. Oh, yep. oh my God. I haven't seen Nick Griffin forever. 
And then we have a few few one people that I'm excited for. Yeah, we got a few one nighters coming up. Miss Pat's coming, I know. I'm excited. I'm stoked for her. She's hilarious. Uh, some other dude that I see on TikTok, he only posts stuff of him on stage. Oh, that's okay. So, uh, that's, so it's his name is Namesh, and Namesh like, all he ever does is like crowd work stuff. But it always makes me laugh. He's his, just always telling people they're fucking stupid. Yeah, his pre show video is awesome. It's funny. They were showing yeah, just cool. a clip, I, and yeah, usually those are that, yeah. not that good. And so I think I saw McFoley's coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's, he's, back he's awesome. super cool. That yeah. fucking guy. I I came his last time he was here, and I mean, I was like this for an hour. Yeah, yeah. just. I mean, he, it was the, uh, he talked about the Hell in a Cell match, and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. You know? yep. And then I, just for shits and giggles, when I went home that night, I rewatched. I'm like, oh, 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 this, what, what, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's that awesome. Really you got to kind of relive cool. it. Yeah, that yeah. guy is great. He will, off stage. he will sit there and talk to you for an hour also. Yeah, he's that so dude nice. just loves like to talk and tell stories. Genuine story. dude. He's great. Yeah. I tried Jamie Hughes. I couldn't do it, man. I, I tried. Yeah. He's one that I really want to like, but I don't know if it's, gonna work yeah stand I, I up wise it just doesn't translate no as well. it was it was okay. got stories yeah the stories were okay yeah he doesn't have kevin smith going like this in the, in the background <laughs> <laughs> and kind of leading him around you know he's a nice guy and, and yeah that's oh, yeah. Uh, as long as he's a nice guy that's cool he's i tried nice I, I gave him about 10 minutes and i'm like i gotta go so. <laughs> steve-o is fun yeah steve-o, Steve-O is, is he a good yeah. dude oh we got yeah Mark he's Norman nice. right right or that just happened yeah we just got refreshing go to one of those shows yeah, you were here. I went last weekend for Kyle Kinane. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't oh, think I, I was I here came for, for Norman. Mark Norman. There you go, there you go. That, uh, and so did I might have worked Norman. <laughs> Mark's always really good. I'm going to Google some shit, too. Fucking Annie Letterman just got put up there. That's yeah, a, I Did she? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm 50-50 on that. She's really on that Whitney bandwagon, and mm, I personally don't I, I think, like No, Whitney. she's she's more comic than Whitney is, uh, she's as on, far as their she's personality. Whitney Cummings? presence, yeah. Okay. I'm 50-50 on that. Oh, wait, wasn't Whitney also added there? No. No, she's doing a, a Orpheum here. Oh, yeah, that's Griffin. what it is. There's Lynn Coplitz coming. Yeah, out. Lynn's coming. Lynn Coplitz. She's great. Pescatelli been here lately? She uh, comes uh, usually in the fall, while, but yeah, okay. she's yeah. yeah, around Thanksgiving time. Yeah, we tried she's, to get her on the podcast, and it just didn't work out. She's great. Oh, she yeah. had a bad travel day or something. Yeah, she had a so bad travel day and issues with her family back home. She's and been doing this shit for fucking ever, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. She has a right to be mm-hmm. fucking bitchy. Right, right. Yeah. right. <laughs> but also, she's such a sweetheart, too. Oh, God. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. It's out of character, you know, for her to be so... Oh, yeah, in fact, she bad. agreed to do it, but then Colleen told me she had a bad... And I was like, yeah, we don't... We're, you we, just go home and go to bed tonight. I was going to say, you don't yeah. want to run anyway, because I mean, right. you know, it's just going to be shitty content. Right. Yeah. Kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Ganan. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, Ganan agrees. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are booked out. You got shit in Yeah, we got Chad July Daniels coming back, too. I really like Chad, Chad Daniels, Daniels, too. Yeah. Yeah. And he's more than just one night. He's a couple nights, isn't is he? he? I just saw it on the one. But oh, okay. Why do I know through. Donnie Baker? He was a radio guy. <laughs> Around here? No. He's a... Indicated show, it's a character. It's, yeah, it's okay. yeah. What's he Chris say? Donnie Co- Baker, the bastard maker, is what he calls himself. <laughs> Chris Covey said, because <laughs> Chris Covey worked the host for him. He's like, oh, you got that Donnie Baker uh, three second delay. Because <laughs> Chris went up there and he told a joke and it took about three seconds for them to get it. He's like, ah, oh, okay, it's that Donnie Baker three second delay. <laughs> That's beautiful. Because, you know, Chris is, Chris is, I mean, not that Chris is fucking, you know, incredibly smart, highbrow comedy, but, you know, some of the stuff, you know, you think just a little bit, but yeah. it took. It's definitely a snappier sort of. Yes. Sort of set. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember one time we were in the office with Lewis Black. I don't remember who he was talking to, but they were talking like geopolitical shit, mm. and like whew, over way the fuck over here. <laughs> and Colleen looks at me, and she's kind of out of it too. And she looks at me, <laughs> she fucking lifts her shirt, her shirt, her pants up. She goes, "I have purple socks." <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> you know, I mean, it was like the, this total moment where, you know, this this really adult conversations going on and i'm like that ain't me man <laughs> and uh, colleen just oh, fucking killed me <laughs> <laughs> Look at my socks. Purple socks. <laughs> <laughs> but lewis is a great guy i, I was I very surprised at, at how personable he was and and uh, i don't, you guys probably won't ever get him back here now will you uh, well, maybe i don't know he was scheduled, he was scheduled oh, and was then he? yeah covid kind of spiked yeah. back up again and colleen has always said that 
you know, and I keep holding on to it that she uh, he owes her at least one more date. Good. So I'm holding on to that. Honestly, if, if he comes, I'll I'll come see him here. Yeah. You probably won't see him again, here again ever. No, so probably no. not. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that the fact is, that we get him is insane. It's crazy. Yeah. But it's it's truly is just because of Colleen. Okay. Yeah. And it makes sense. I mean, yeah, they're. Yeah, he was supposed to be here what last June? That sounds May, about right. May or yeah. June, I think. And then he had to reschedule. Yeah. Yep. And it hasn't gotten rescheduled yet. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I remember one time. I I don't remember how long ago this was, but he just showed up. He wasn't even performing. He just yeah. He, he was had, in the area and just showed up and hung out. Yeah. Yeah. I remember a solid that. dude. Really oh, yeah. solid mm-hmm. dude. Sat and talked with a fucking idiot doorman for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fucking got me. I got so, you back. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this long running thing with Ganand saying, go fuck yourself. Oh, right? yes. You yep. are now G- in I'm that <laughs> book. Go fuck yourself. That's <laughs> why, <laughs> baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Jason Regan has that on a koozie, and he was selling those last night. Whoa. No, 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 no. He owes somebody some fucking money there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's definitely. bullshit. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you got any other stories on that list we needed to talk about? We, we, we pulled some people to see if there's any yeah, things that's that cool. needed to get brought up. Yeah, keep, I mean, just I'll, sure I'll, I'll fucking ramble and just start <laughs> talking about fucking Legos and shit. Well, so. and I know uh, we got to hey, be conscious Davis. of your time. Oh, yeah. Davis, yeah, yeah. who wrote the list for you? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> I wrote no, he's it. good at writing lists. He's just not good at doing the shit on it. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> That's real true. <laughs> it seems so happy about that, too. <laughs> I, think we, I think we covered most everything that I had on awesome. here. I had strip poker. When's that poker. game start? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You haven't been playing this whole time? <laughs> Trip poker. Deez Fucked nuts. up Ganant stories. Oh, yeah. God. Medicine hat. I've got so uh, Divots is something I have down here. Div- I think you, you know, just mentioned Divots mentioned was it. our fucking treehouse, dude. I, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, That's man. Awesome. That's it, it, was, it, it was our fucking treehouse. We, we, and Mike Fox, God bless you. Um, I love you, man. I don't know where you are now. You're around somewhere. But um, basically, we just, we'd go get a beer and fucking... Run a tap, pay for it, and it's just, it was our bar, you know? And nice. it, it was really, really cool. And uh, that is, like I said, that's where I met my wife. And <clears throat> pardon me, um, most, you know, people, you, their hookups at bars don't right. end, up, end up in marriage. But um, yeah, just a really, really fun place to go. And, and I mean, we would go to other bars, of course, but that way we had our table in the, in the corner, and, and that was our fucking table. You don't say, you know, you'd walk up and, well, Somebody sent our fucking table. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's like Norm walking in. Norm. So, yeah, Divots was, was a great, great little hangout. It really was. Um, that was the other bar. There we go. Divots was the bar. That's the one I was trying to think of. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it was just so nice. And, and like Lewis said, they, they we would, they, they made our food and brought it over. And it's just such an odd concept to, like what you have now. Right. You know, you had another, and <laughs> just the nachos were just these nasty fucking corn chips and with, Can you know, the cheese. government fucking cheese. That <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you know, it would, but uh, he had really good wings. I'll give him that. I don't like food at all. Can you tell? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and you know, it was just, I don't know. I can't, I can't say it enough. It was just a big family and, and, uh, I'd love to have a little reunion with a lot of them, but now that I'm off Facebook, it's tough. I don't really know where everybody is. So. Yeah. And there's some people that I'm sure want to come back anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll talk to Colleen. You know, she oh. still knows everybody. And, oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm everybody. sure we could do that. sure she could set something up yeah, for sure. And, yeah. and, and there's a few that are passed on, too. Uh, Jet Lanaha, he's gone. And uh I'm trying to think. There's somebody else that passed away, too. I don't remember who it was. You're getting old, man. Even the Mona Lisa's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> but. All right. Yeah, that's all. I, that's all I had on there. 
Well, uh, thanks again, Dan, yeah. for thanks for having me, guys. Coming out and yeah. spending some time awesome. with us. This is a blast. You guys ever want to do it again? And we'll just come bullshit. No more fucking old stories. Nobody yeah. gets yeah. Yeah. Start scheduling we'll the next one sure. now. So in a few months, we'll uh, we'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Good. Good. <laughs> that that truthful thing you said hurts. <laughs> Hey, once all my stuff went, went, but the COVID thing, I was really worried about that because it fucking ripped through Dylan. I've, I've had it twice now. I don't know who's all had it here, but I've had it yeah. twice now, and, and my dad died from it. So, oh, I mean, it's yeah. I was not fucking Sorry wrong about that. No, Sorry dude, that, no, 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 no. I'm not. And I didn't say that for, oh, I didn't say yeah. that. <laughs> well, but I mean, the shit was real, and I didn't I didn't want right. to give it to you guys. You know what I mean? Just yeah. in case. Yeah, no, for and, sure. And, well, and we've been. I, that's all I need is to get it in this fucking joint, too. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's how that shit yeah. spreads. Well, so. two weeks ago, we did one. Davis had a, 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 on the Super Bowl, he had been in contact with someone. My mother-in-law got it pretty bad for a week or so, So, and we were still, so we held up in the house for a while because yeah. I didn't want to give it to anybody. Yeah. I mean, for a while when I was doing this, I Shit, yeah, we came up here. I had a cord that was like 100 foot long, <laughs> and I was sitting back yeah, there, yeah. and everyone else would sit up here. <laughs> Were you guys throwing shit at him, too? <laughs> but yeah, so we ended up just doing a quick 40-minute episode over Skype. It was me, yeah. Yeah. Davis, Andres, and Sean, and... Just to get some content out, but sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, even still, we're just you know making sure. Yeah, you gotta be careful. I mean, you shit. Careful. I, I don't know who's all had it, but it the first time I had it, it fucked me up, man. I was four days. I was a hurt motherfucker. Yeah. So, the second time was much easier. Kind of like anal sex. God, I hope my wife doesn't listen to this. I hope she does. <laughs> but seriously, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun today. That was, yeah. This was fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll definitely get something uh, scheduled to bring you back again. Yeah, Liqu- absolutely. Liquid death. <laughs> If you if you don't have if you're not on the liquid death train, get on yeah, Amazon get and on. get you some. Go Choo-choo. sell your soul to go sell your soul. Yeah, yeah, go to their website. Sell your soul. It's good for <laughs> you. Mm-hmm. So what's my outro? Uh, yeah. Vinny's got it here. Oh, hold on one second. Oh, I got something did, for you. Did we uh, have? Any, uh, wait, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> what's did we going have on? any emails or anything? If he shows me his <laughs> dick, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> what's this guy fucking doing? <laughs> did he bring tacos? <laughs> <laughs> what does, what does this guy have? Davis. Oh shit. Oh boy! Wait, yeah, You're giving me a present in yeah, front of everyone. I'll, yeah. How fucking rude! I think they'll enjoy it as much as I will. I think the guests should get a present. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? What is this? It's a baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> that is on there, Demi. Fucking crazy! <laughs> I want a baked potato you shirt. Fucking piece fucking of shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even get the joke that I wanted. <laughs> Dan's like, that hey, it's delicious. a food shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's no bacon or cream or there's sour butter. cream in it. That's when he eats, it'll fall on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so add your own. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sending this to that Adam guy that I said I'd send a T-shirt to. <laughs> Did we have any other emails or anything? No, I looked earlier, and I didn't. Uh, I can do a quick check just to make sure. If you got Seriously, guys, I'll be all right. If you got another 15 minutes, it's good. I don't give a shit. My wife um. doesn't really like me anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> nope, the last one we got was Adam saying that he... Took him a week to get through the D&D episode. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> uh, I know Davis sent us a screenshot of a message he had from one of his oh, yeah, we talk old about co-workers. I just, I don't, we don't need to say his name or anything. Was it oh, just his situation. It. I don't know what his name is, but yeah. shout out to you. Thanks for listening, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. say his name. Uh, I'll yeah. say his first name. Jerry. Jerry. Thanks uh, for that message that yeah, uh, just, it's, uh, he told us uh, he's going through a rough time now and told us that he likes listening to us, that we make him laugh, and uh, that's what that's why we share our what stories and do this shit. So it, it filled my heart with joy. Yeah. He's sorry. an old boss of mine. and Sorry so. to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> Just me. Not, these other guys are good. I'm fucking, I'm a train wreck. <laughs> but that's what makes it funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that was cool to get yeah. that message. Yeah, and that's the only thing that I really wanted to make sure I said is fucking thank you. That's yeah. exactly yeah. what we're, yeah. I mean, yeah. por- partially why we're trying to do this. Is Fuck yeah. Fucking, this is really fucking cool, guys. Seriously. This shit is, spot, you know, yeah. it might be able to help them out. And fuck, if me being a jackass helps. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> we all win. Yeah. I mean, you're basically like just fucking recording, fucking slamming on each other, and that's fantastic. And yeah. I love it. Yeah. That's dudes. What do dudes, dudes do? So I do have one question, other. real quick. Uh, <laughs> you said so do do. 
<laughs> going back to anal. <laughs> We're twelve. <12. laughs> I don't think we get through one episode without talking about poop uh, or <laughs> butt. <laughs> That's good. You got to hit the key subjects. Key subjects. Did you guys ever like play uh, pranks on each other? Because I know my time here, we definitely did. This guy smashing food and other oh dumb God. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just daily. I guess you know, <laughs> just stupid shit yeah. all the time. You know, I, I I can't. Nothing really sticks out that that I mean, other than just being fucking stupid to each other. And, <laughs> you know, and, but it, once again, it was just a daily occurrence. So it's not like we were playing pranks. We were just taking shit from each just other, doing what we did, fucking with each other. Know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, talking that's shit. All we did. Oh yeah, yeah, that was all we did. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I say that the old club is more like the Wild West. Well, I mean, not it, that we don't fuck it, around here. Yeah, no. It, 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 I mean, coming in, in time, was, coming was, in <laughs> shorts and hats oh, and. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> back there is like the back of the classroom, and school is exactly what that yeah. booth in that area. Yeah. I mean, do you guys? Did Colleen ever come in and tell you guys, shut the fuck up, you're being too loud? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Regular. we have to do that to our own servers. When, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah. yeah. When mom yells at you, like, oh, fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I, fucked. <laughs> I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we fucked up last night. I, <laughs> I don't know oh, if boy. I should be telling this or not, but fuck it, I'll throw, my, throw us under the bus. Yeah, do it. <laughs> so we had a... a <laughs> Colleen's probably going to be pissed at me. Fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Um, <laughs> it feels I good, like it, man. I like I've never uh, seen Vinny this I know, nervous. Right? I know. I'm fucking <laughs> nervous, man. I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> but it's a fucking funny story. All right, anyways. So we're cleaning up for the first show. And uh, and and Tanner and I are putting trash in. And we're over here by like by the edge of the showroom over here. And someone comes up and hands us this fucking plastic thing. And she's like, I found this under a table. What should we do with this? And I was like, the fuck is this? It was like a circle, and there was like gaps in it, and it looked like a fucking cup holder, like out of maybe somebody's car or something. I was like, what the fuck would somebody, did somebody lose this out of their purse? Like, what the fuck is this thing? Why is this even here? I was like, I have no idea. And Tanner goes, what should we do with it? I was like, I don't know. Let's fucking throw it away. I mean, it was all dirty and filthy and shit like that. So, fucking second show, Daisy and Colleen come to us, and they're like, where's that cup holder? And I was like, well, we threw that away. I'm like, well, that was off of some guy's wheelchair, and he's here to get it. <laughs> 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 and I was like, well, uh, how did we know? And she, Because the server found it way over here, handed it to us over there, and, and Daisy goes, that's what I told her. Don't ever hand things to the door guys, because they're just going to throw it away. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We're like fucking Crow Magnum men. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, right. God, you're always ta- attacking handicapped people. I know. The blind guy. <laughs> Ah. This fucking guy. I was going to say you should have stood up and looked around for it, but I thought that would be a little bit I usually just take everything that I've found. <laughs> take it home? Yeah. <laughs> that explains your extensive sunglasses collection. Ooh. Yes, yes, very much yeah. so. <laughs> but, but then I found out that he, d- he also came up for his... <laughs> he <could> call him. <laughs> but he was also coming up to get his credit card. So he forgot his credit card, and he was looking for the cup holder. He and fucked up. Yeah, that was my bad. So if I have to buy this guy another five dollar cup holder, I'll You're do it. Probably did him a favor. I'm sure there was E. coli and shit all over that fucking thing. <laughs> the way you described it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, was, it looked like it was out of like a fucking old car. I'm like, why is this even in here? There's miles on that wheelchair, bud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fucking asshole. Wow. <laughs> That's wow. an observation. <laughs> That's an observation. Wow. And he gets stuck right there in the oh, hallway. Man. He obviously is still traveling. <laughs> We're good. His boots were made for walking. To be <laughs> he did not give a fuck. No, wait. Like, hold on. Like, from a tow truck, there's a fucking boot on his. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, there's not a cup holder anymore. Oh, man. <laughs> so, I don't know if you want a cup holder from us. Or <laughs> 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 well, but if, if he gets a, if, if I have to buy him a cup holder, I'm slapping a door guy's podcast sticker on there. Yeah, yeah. Where's Dude. he supposed to put his liquid death? I mean, come on. <laughs> Dude, I thought you said cum holder. <laughs> Of course you did. <laughs> oh, man, we're going to have an email next week. <laughs> what were you doing up here last night, Sean? <laughs> I had to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. 
Yeah, so that, that, yeah. Happened, that happened last night. <laughs> Let's just do this every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, we have another non-door guy on the podcast. Oh, you yeah. can be another yeah, member, yeah, too. Man. You were a door guy at one time, too. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Just, just like again. Anders. I'll, I'll bring my son in. It'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking to hire an intern to run this computer oh, shit for us. Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck yeah. He'll be over there playing Fortnite and shit on there. <laughs> How come this video didn't come out? <laughs> Yeah, YouTube took it down. Apparently, we streamed two and a half hours of Fortnite videos <laughs> <laughs> with our audio over it. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, All right. thanks again, Dan. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it, Appreciate gentlemen. it. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Make sure you uh, check out all the socials, Instagram, fa- uh, Facebook, all that fun shit. Uh, we're again, we're trying to keep up with the reels. Billy, what's your Twitch? Uh, uh, yeah, Jigglegasm. I just go. got affiliated last well, night. That's right. Did you? Fuck Woo. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. I'm working on. I got a logo today. I'm working on. I saw logo that shit made. Fuck Follow yeah, Billy dude. on Jigglegasm. I'm so fucking old. I don't know what the fuck. He needs that. <laughs> yep. He needs that. Hey, so you want to watch me and Davis play together? Uh, can follow oh, my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and go ahead and plug it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, Twitch or Pornhub. T- well, the yes. name you can use yes. for either one. It's a uh, Big Mexican Hog Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to you porn and find me on the young old section. <laughs> <laughs> the next time I have a jiggle gasm, I'm going to think of Big Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, collab, collabo. We did. We collabed uh, last night in uh, yeah, yeah. another night too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I do is try to get Andres kicked off Twitch because you yeah. can't see me. So well, I the was, one time, like I was still, uh, I didn't get my audio right, so you can only hear Davis. He goes, "Yeah, this guy's baby raper." <laughs> <Baby. laughs> I said it like five times. <laughs> <laughs> He's still on there, so oh, yeah, fuck. you work harder. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Gotta get better. <laughs> All right, thanks for listening, guys. Yeah, thank you.